And the guys, balls for no flashing. Welcome gamers to another episode of Senna to Diamond. This game gonna be playing Senna Velkaz. Into Caitlyn Fresh. So we're playing on patch 13.23 and Senna got nerfed on patch 13.22. This is my first time playing her since then. Uh, she got minus five both damage and healing per level on her Q, so minus 20 damage total and minus 20 healing total at rank 5. Should be a fairly like decent nerf to her, but should still be viable, just a little bit weaker. Can't really go for that mist at the moment, I don't think. Alright, now we got level 2. Now I can. It's just nice not to be a Gotta back off here, show Thresh a little bit of respect. I'm gonna focus on Kitlin here. Does she have heal? She does. Um, is she just did literally in the brush? No, she's there. Oh man. That's a shame though, because I had to take that kill. Oh well. Whoa, what? He just dodged my Q. I need to stop hitting him. Oh god, what? Do I have auto attack enabled or what? I was literally saying I shouldn't click him. Because I don't want to take turret aggro. We're alright though. Oh, or are we? Okay, more missed for me. Don't mind if I do. Gotta miss that one, unfortunately. We'll suck up this wave under turret. I can't imagine that they should be able to dive me here. Oh, can't let's hit that with Q. Ah, oh, I'd be so confident about basing here. If I didn't have a Velka support, a Loilo Velka support. So you know what? I'm gonna stay. I got heals anyway through my Q. We haven't leveled our Q up yet, so it isn't yet affected by the nerf. Yeah, I'm plenty healthy here, and we got a big wave. We should be able to easily crash this, actually. Didn't even need the base. I imagine Thresh might already be in the lane, just che trying to chase from a brush somewhere. No, okay, there he is, just proving me wrong. Are we getting ganked by Kane here? I think we are. That was extremely obvious, wasn't it? Okay, this Thresh is way overextended. Nice, and we get the call perfect. Ah, it's goddamn minion. Oh, this might be a dead cane too. Lovely. Oh my god. Need to he immediately heal. Ah, still dead anyway. Oh well. That's a shame. I never saw the trap being placed. Um, we'll go for a Noom Quiver. Stormraiser would be really good against Olaf. We'll try Stormraiser because I've mostly been using Static Shiv, haven't I? Hmm. My previous rank games on Senna are no longer in my OPGG on this account, but yeah, I think we mostly used Static Shiv. Can't remember if um, Stormers was even buffed yet by the time weird by the time that we um, did our last episode. Either way, uh, we'll test it here. It's going to be especially good because of cutting the Olaf. It's also nice for dodging Ari skill shots potentially. Currently have a CS lead, even though we're less CS dependent than Caitlyn, so that's pretty sick. An ally has been slain. Light should teach us not to fear the dark. It's gonna offer a lot of respect by now, though. <laughs> that was almost perfectly timed. I 
Did Thresher wound up using Hook there? I think he did, right? Oh, what was that about cause? You know what? Three missed, I'm not even gonna complain. Well done, buddy. Thrash is gonna be aiming for a hook here, I bet. We stand very far away from the wall. Where is he? Maybe he's just in the brush. Hmm. Maybe it's greedy going for this missed, but it feels worth the risk. Okay, we have no idea where Thresh is. Oh, he was just chilling somewhere. Okay. <laughs> I missed that cannon by 10 HP. That actually, wow, that was actually because of the nerf. Goddamn. Pre-nerf that I would have actually had that cannon with that Q. Thankfully, I get it anyway. Oh, I just wasted W, but that should be alright. Pop Ghost. Ooh. Ah, damn it. Okay, we do a lot of damage at least. It's hoping to go that Thrash. If not for the heal, I actually would have killed him with ult. Oh well. Got his flash at least. Wait, actually, wait, that's fucked up. He's been hexa-flashing all lane, and now you're telling me the moment he gets ganked is when his flash is actually up? It's unlucky timing. Nice. First, we have to use her Q to get the lost hit. She doesn't even get the lost hit. Really enough, I think she was trying to do a compromise there between aiming at the minion and aiming at me, and ended up doing neither. I think we can all relate to that. In similar scenarios. Perfect. Let's try shoving this wave. Nice one. Alright, time to get out of here. Do I already have enough for Storm Wizard? I do. That is sick. Please don't cancel my base. Nice one. Okay, how's the map looking? Is slightly losing lane, but not doing too bad. About 3 CS behind. Ari's doing pretty decent. Mom is about... Uh, I guess doing better than Kane, but overall Kane is similarly strong. Has a kill. Top lane. Getting destroyed, but uh, is even in kills at least. Okay, it's not looking too bad. Could do with contesting this. If we can. We should be weaker in fights, though. I would imagine. Okay, this is really bad for Caitlyn, though. Goddamn. Oh, man. Poor enemies. That was not even close. Nice roam fizz. Way before the Ari. Okay, she gets away. Nice one. We got two miss from that as well. Wow. That is a, an absolutely game-deciding fight. Assuming nothing major occurs aside from that in the near future. It's only a Cloud... Uh, well, Cloud Drake, but can be satisfied with that. I gotta make sure that I'm positioning away from the wall. So if Thresh is there trying to cheese a hook on me, he won't land it. I think Mumu might have been seen there. Oh, wow, that is a little bit overkill in terms of global ultimate. Well, not global ultimates, but the long range ultimates. Killing didn't stand a chance. 
We got such a good duo here between Senna and Volkos. You typically want to pick Senna support whenever you're going to mage support. She was, she's usually going to be pretty decent there. She got so much self peel anyway. That she can actually kill quite well for her mage support. It was also obviously useful to peel. Got him. Let's go. Still got it. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this fight is moving away from us. Damn. Yeah. Can get her. Close. Wait, they're actually fighting. Again. Okay, nice one. I'm just one missed away from getting my next breakpoint. Putting me at 640 auto attack range. Takes me 60 missed before I actually outrange kill him, but at 640 I'm pretty much matching her range at least. I think I just want a base here anyway. We'll go Swifties. I think Swifties with the movement speed is going to be pretty good for my purposes this game. For cutting the Olaf. And perfect. That actually also leaves me with enough gold for BF Star 2. We're going to be going Bloodthirst. Uh, certainly, uh, Infinity Edge, second item. Stop shoving Valkos. Yeah, probably looking to find a first loss today, unfortunately. <laughs> Starting to climb a little bit higher. And but Sun is going to be a bit weaker now than in previous episodes. Wouldn't be surprised to see us lose, I don't know, sometimes, sometime within the next four games. Oh, hello. Got her. Got him, rather. Yeah, we might be getting him by Ari, so I'm just going to leave it at that. And I'm going to keep on pushing for kills on two Caitlyn. Okay, we found Ari. Okay, she has to use ult to get out of there. Ooh. I'm gonna queue Valkos there just to get an assist for 50 gold. Nice one. I can leave all of this farm for Fizz, by the way. Nice. That way my mid laner still gets his gold. And I'm just getting missed as a reward for not taking the gold myself. Uh, I guess this all after doesn't have ult, right? No, he does. Not sure then why he didn't just ult the Valkazi. Nice. It is actually so nice when you're playing Senna. Like, just the fact that you don't have to farm, you can just leave the farm to your mid laner. It just feels so nice to just, like, be grouped with your mid laner and realize, oh, there's no conflict here. We're in complete agreement. He wants the farm. I want him to have the farm. There's no squabbling over farm. It's just win-win. There's nothing else like it. Obviously, you farm in lane, and you farm when there's nobody else around, and you farm when it's the support that's the other person in lane. But, yeah, like, you're barely, like, obviously, fasting Senna is a thing for a reason, right? Or the support farms instead of Senna, so it's completely fine to be leaving the CS for somebody else. Here, for example, though, I will go for the farm. But, arguably, should have been there. Oh my god, he's gonna live. That hit her. And I'm just dead. Nice one. Oh, he just took the Drake. That's their top laner, by the way. Not even their jungler. He's gotta be trolling with a move like that. Why would he just randomly start soloing Drake? Instead of trying to join a fight.
Oh my god, he's a lot stronger than I expected. Dude, the last time he got destroyed, I got one shot here pretty much. My god, not bad. Could have popped Ghost if I realized it was going to be so strong. Oh well. Yeah, that was like an auto and a Z that left me- that took off like 60% of my HP or something, that was crazy. Maybe I'm just not used to seeing Triforce Olaf. Don't know what he usually builds. Alright, we can get... The, sorry, Dagger. This can build into Zeal, which will give us more movement speed, better kiting capabilities. And eventually build into Fire Cannon. This is going to be amazing for poking with our Storm Razor. Holy fuck, this cane doesn't have form yet, I just realized. So close. Ah, I was hoping to hit Ari with that. Oh well. Got a lot of mist though. Could gank this all off. Could contest the blue. I'm gonna prioritize just helping them take this all off down. Ooh, careful, Yone. Okay, that was a close one. Goodbye, Kane. Sheesh. That was clean looking. Gonna help him move farm these. It's guaranteed missed as well from the big monsters. Nice one. I can base for Zeal now. If I want to. Wow, does she always have ult up or what? What is that cooldown? Oh, no, she died anyway. I'll use Z just to rotate faster here. My farm. Ooh. Damn. I feel tempted almost to just flash through there. Ooh. Okay, Olaf. <laughs> Not sure if he underestimated me or if he's truly trolling. I still think, though, that Sun is probably stronger now. Sun ADC, at least. Stronger now than before, um... They buffed crit on her. <laughs> Man, my CS fell off so hard, but I'm still higher CS than Caitlyn. She is not having a good game. So, yeah, I, th I think our first episode of Sun at the Diamond was already before they buffed crit, if I remember correctly, on her. When they buffed her crit ratio. And I still think she's stronger than before then, so... She shouldn't be bad, obviously. Definitely didn't feel bad this game, but we had a bit of a easy lane with a lot of ganks from Momomo, so... The rest of the games will really show us where we're at. Thank you. Is there an Olaf around, or what? I'm guessing there is, but I don't think we need five people to gank him. Wait, how did that miss? Excuse me? Nice. Fucking hell. <laughs> what? I had a vision I can't chase. Trick is up. I'll heal up Yoni. We'll take these mist. And we can rotate the Drake.
And now I'm going to base, because i got a lot of gold and a big prospect to pick up here with the fire cannon. We're going to be poking away from so much range and dealing so much damage as well, because the mist, of course, not only gives us crit and range, both of which synergize really well with the fire cannon, um, <clears throat> it also gives AD. I'm actually getting 61.5 AD from passive right now, so even if I had like zero items, I would still have like very similar AD to Caitlyn. And of course, crit synergizes really well with Fire Cannon, because if you crit every time you have a Fire Cannon poke, then that's a lot of poke. Nice one. How does she have ult every time, bro? Doesn't even make sense. Alright, nice. Oh, hello. Oh my god. He might have actually killed me if he managed to ult me there. Alright, and there's the FF from the enemies. Alright, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Sun at the Diamond. This game playing Sanalulu into Jin Soraka should be a pretty decent matchup. You love to play Sana in matchups where the enemies don't really have any like upfront damage and rather like have more defensive capabilities. So for example with Soraka, she doesn't have like any like really strong trading abilities to pressure you with. Neither does Jin for that matter if his support isn't dealing enough damage for his fourth shot to do much. So if we're constantly full HP, or near full HP, then the Jin won't do much damage. Uh, Soraka doesn't bring much damage of her own. She mostly, you know, covers her ADC through defensive capabilities, such as, you know, her heal. Um, basically means they don't actually have much pressure to stop me from trading against them. Uh, any damage they do deal, I'm just going to be healing it up from my Q anyway. So we're just going to be chilling here, perma trading with nobody actually ever really dropping low, which means I just get a lot of opportunities, such as now, to trade with my passive, get myself another mist, and nobody ever drops low, nobody's ever actually dying, so we just keep trading over and over and over, and I keep stacking more and more mist, and it benefits me more than anybody else for us to constantly take even trades. Like that. Don't know why she keeps shielding me even when there's nothing to shield. Oh, my bad. Careful, Lulu. Oh my god, that was so close. Need to get all this mist. Ah, oh, damn it, I missed one. That sucks. Got her. Okay, we're gonna level Q here. I don't really see us needing to use... Um, e at the moment it's mainly for escaping ganks or avoiding all ins. Not something their bot lane does very well. Okay, nice one. And you see, we just trade so heavily. We've traded how many times now? I've tanked Jin's abilities so many times. And what is my HP? Still full. Generated 14 mist, mostly from trading. And the more you can trade in Senna's Lena, the... Uh, sorry, as <laughs> Senna, the better you are going to scale. That's why you love to see these matchups. Nice. Even more mist to the collection. I don't have great wave clear this early on, though, so... I'm gonna look to slow push this wave and crash the next one in order to actually get a crash. I think we can do static shift this game. I don't think we need to do the storm riser. At least not early on. Maybe we can do a full energizer build where we build storm riser later on. I just want to make sure that they're not freezing here. Ooh, that didn't breach somehow. And, you know, I'm actually tempted to just stay here. Oh, especially if Soraka does this. Nice one. Yeah, okay, I guess I'll stay then. Need to go place a ward, is all. But Jin only really got a, got boots and uh, potion there, so more sustain in the lane where he already had plenty of sustain. No actual trading power to stop me from just trading against him constantly and getting generating miss from it, though.
And ideally I'll base once I've got enough for Nunquiver, I guess. Creature Shot would not be terrible. But I'd rather Nunquiver for a better lost heading. Better pushing power as well. I find it's a very um, nice incentive for pushing power in particular. Since you can't push without it, really. Careful, Lulu. And I just constantly switch targets. Like, if I get my mist on Jin, then I'm switching to Lulu. Uh, sorry, to Soraka, so I can get mist from her. Unless I actually have to be afraid of Jin, then yeah, that's what we do. Whoa, the Soraka way overextended. Oh, they got heal. Back off then. Starting to run low on mana, so this is, you know, need to chill a bit. Could have actually maybe looked to just base there, to be honest. That probably would have been fine. I can maybe even base um, if I kill these melees. I think my melees... Should... Yeah, I'm going to ignore that mist. I don't need it. So my melees are going to go under turret now, and this fixes the wave state and causes it to push towards us. Now, if this is a cannon wave as well, which it is, then this is a beautiful time to uh, base, because they're not going to be able to crash this in time to make me miss a lot of farm. We'll just get this, make sure we can keep up with their sustain, I guess. Would have preferred a longsword, but since I can't afford it, refillable will be fine. I seem overkill with how much sustain Sen already has, but it doesn't really cost me much to just buy it and then later on sell it. Hmm. The only thing that worries me about this game, by the way, is the fact that they got Orianna and Shaco. If they constantly do that cheese where Orianna just shields Shaco and he provides an invisible delivery system for the Oriole to to me, then that could be bad. But they may not think to do that. Okay, we're just gonna keep this freeze here for now to just try and deny some CS from Jin. See, there's Enchanter versus Enchanter matchups are just the absolute dream scenario for Senna. You don't want to face any high damage bot lanes if you can avoid it, because if they don't bring damage, they can never take you down. Nice. Come on, that minion block. Let's do that for some random poke as well as a heal. I want to heal anyway with that HP, so... Might as well poke with it. I'll just hit him with that while I know he can't really dodge it. Because he's in that tight corridor, so... There's no mo room to dodge to the left or to the right. He can only move backwards or forwards. Decent damage. He may look for an ult here. He might actually be able to go a little with it. I'd rather not get hit by the last one. If I oh no, you're kidding me. I wasn't encountering Soraka. Fuck, my bad. <clears throat> Damn. Unbelievable that uh, I tank every single Jin ult, and it's the Soraka Q that kills me of all things. <laughs> oh well. I was trying to, so I wanted to tank the first two, partially because I had a Lulu shield on me, and obviously I wanted to dodge, uh, block some such for Lulu as well, make sure that she didn't die to that. But around the third shot, that's when I actually started wanting to dodge them, so at that point I had a 0% dodge rate, 2 out of 2. These first two I w actually wanted to tank, though. Problem is I was already slowed from the second shot. Oh, damn. I could have had that. Oh, well. Because I was slowed from the second shot, it did make it already harder to dodge the third and then fourth.
Wanted you to come out. I had ult. Oh, she had ult. Damn. He's starting to get some damage, it feels like. Well, that wasn't much damage. Maybe it's only when you add this rocket queue. If Lulu doesn't shield me or something. Oh, missed. Nice. Oh, that's one Lulu. There's no chance they're going to be stepping up with the HP that, that they had. Okay, I think I'm just gonna base here. I'm not that bothered about this planning. I've already got my static shove. Oh, hello. I think I just accidentally hit the real one. Yeah, I did. I can't quite kill him though. Oh. Oh no, he actually called Lulu. Damn. <sighs> okay, that blows. Okay, next wave isn't a kind of wave. I can stick around for this. Just because I may as well. Whoa, Jin. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I'll just drop a wave so I can actually base and spend my gold here. Gonna have to do it eventually. May as well be a non cannon wave that I drop. Or at least I'll most likely have to. I don't want to rely on my jungler getting me a gank just so we can get a good recall. Oh, oh well, if I knew she was going to gank anyway, I would have stuck around for that. My bad. Could have thought about that, maybe. I forgot we had Briar, who is obviously Briar ult. Oh. Nice one. I'll ult him. Give Briar a shield as well in the process. Nice one. Ah, uh, no CS or missed for me. Feels bad, man. Whoa. Okay, this is the real one. What? What? How is it not? What the hell? Nah, that's fucked up. How does the clone go into Dustblade? Oh, I'm so dead here. Probably. Seiko might not even be low anymore. Yeah. Nice one. I think Seiko is over here. Yep. Dead. <laughs> nice. I don't know what gave that away for me. Was it Soraka Airy? I don't know, so I felt like something just traveled into that pit, but I'm not sure what it was. But it made me keep that in the back of my mind until after we killed Jin, then I was like, alright, let's check that out. I just wanted the base ages go. <laughs> I didn't want to kill them all and take their turret. They forced me to. Alright, Jin is shoving so we can return bot for now. Also doing quite decently all of a sudden. Look at this. 58 miss. This is way more miss than we had in the previous game. I feel like. This is even before I start leaving farm to my mid laner. I should have been already rotating here. I guess I expected Jin to keep on shoving. I could ult, but I don't think it's going to save anyone here. 
Or he probably doesn't have ult, but I, I feel like that's a brave assumption to make. If I walk forwards and get ulted, then I'm going to feel really stupid. Nice one. Yeah, I'm just an absolute monster right now. It's not even about my items at this point, it's just about the fucking sheer amount of mist that I have so early on. Just wait until I get infinity edge. Oh, let me rotate over for this, if possible. Nice one. Remist for that. Uh, actually, we should join here. Because I expect the fight to happen. Oh, hello, Jen. And he's dead. Ow. I win. <laughs> oh, no. I didn't expect to die there. Was that two tour shots? It might have been three. <clears throat> Jack baited me, what can I say? Okay, that's one turret shot. Yeah, that was literally two turret shots. Fucking hell. My bad. <laughs> Anybody I can ult? And save? Not really. Walk up the bar here as she's farming and get some mist. Either I wasn't in range for most of that, or I just got unlucky that there was only one. Okay, Wallabra's well, mid for whatever reason, so. Hopefully that does something useful for him. Well, he's alive still. I was hoping he'd maybe be able to turn, but. As long as he actually at least stays alive, I guess it's worth it. And uh, nice one. They do indeed get a kill thanks to that, I think. Alright, not gonna base for Infinity Edge. Do I have time to get this red buff after my recall? If I rush over there as, as soon as I can, maybe. Yeah, 15 seconds is more than enough. At least with home guards. More than enough. It's harder to hold a hand. By two seconds. Ideally, Volley Bear should go bot lane. I don't want to keep going there. Bro, please, man. Whoa, that guy's fast. Stormizer, makes sense. Probably crit as well. Oh, well, if Folly Bear's here, I guess he'll farm. Nice one. Okay, I wouldn't... Uh, I don't have ult anyway, but if I did have ult, I wouldn't quite kill him thanks to Soraka. Careful volley, I think he's just dead there. Unless... Okay. I'll probably want to stay out of the general though. Oh. He actually went to trade with me. Bold choice. He juked my W because he thought he could just trade with me. Has he not been paying attention this game or what? Has he not seen how strong I am? I don't, carry this. I don't want to use Q just to heal Lulu right now. don't think it's worth the mana when I'm this low on mana. 
Wally Bear is more worth it. He's a natural frontliner. God, he loves tanking damage, though. Ah, I missed the mist. I'm gonna have to leave it. <laughs> Ideal base timing here would be 1450. What is Briar doing? This, uh, Orianna's a bit low on mana. Oh my god, wait. Jesus. Holy fuck, she nearly one shot me. Okay, I'm out of here. Wait, can I DPS the Drake through the wall? Nice. <laughs> I don't think Shaco saw me or he would have uh, just got, uh, come, uh, settled for killing me. Alright, we do not walk up to Orianna anymore. Lesson learned. An enemy has been slain. There we go. Zeal on the crew chase. That's what we wanted. 1454. Is that how you pronounce crew chase shard? I just realized this... Wait, this doesn't even have an apostrophe in it. Wait, is crew a person? Or is, cr is it... It was crew chase like a thing. I always assumed this was Kerchase, like, belonging to Kerche, you know? Hmm. What a conundrum. Oh, I almost stole that by accident. Maybe playing with fire there a little bit. We can get the red buff and also soak up some mist from the raptors here. Wow, really? Only one again? What the fuck? Each small one has the same chance of dropping a mist as regular minions, so it's a bit weird. Projects. Jin? Sana? Fucking hell. He almost could have killed me just because of Soraka. No way. Wow, she actually escapes. So does Oriana for that matter. Okay, I've got enough gold for Farkana now. Oh, he's going for it. Oh god, wait. I might have been trouble here. Come on. Fuck, I can't juke these and also escape from Jax at the same time. Oh well. Where did Lulu go, actually? She was right there with us. Oh well. It's just a recall. Which arguably was the right decision anyway, to be fair. Still don't have a whole lot of armor. Maybe I will do Farkin on here. How much crit do I have? 100% now, oh, nice. 
getting 3.5% lifesteal from my crit. I think some people think crit gets uh, cost inefficient on Senna once you've already hit the cap. Uh, I also was in that camp, to be honest, until I actually started looking into it somewhat recently. and realized, actually, this is a very cost efficient lifesteal. Unless you just don't want lifesteal, this is actually good to buy. Oh, I should be ulting here, by the way, my bad. Got wrapped up in my story, that could have come so much sooner. <laughs> my bad, guys. Then. Oh, the fucking range. Yeah, this game will be easier when you also start streaming fights. Yeah, unless you're just really opposed to getting lifesteal, then you can just keep building crit once you're out at the cap. Nothing wrong with it at all. Is that Orianna? No, that well, that's the shape. Oh, Orianna is there, though. Then... Oh, wait, but where... I felt like there was somebody else there with Shaco. Oh, well. Yeah, it just means that uh, you don't necessarily want to be building Bloodthirst on Senna, because, yeah, that would be an... An absurd amount of uh, life steal. Oh, if I had vision of Shaco, man, that's so sad. He was right here. I, I could have just killed him if I just had vision. Damn it. Oh well. Let's cue this plant and also eat up the plant. So yeah, we can still do Lord Dominix, we can do Runans if we want, we can do Stormraiser. It's all still good. Nice one. My damage is absolutely absurd as well. How much AD do I have? 307. Decent. It's also, of course, not just about the upfront DPS that I deal, but also like how much burst I do and also the range I do it from. So then I can do like as much damage in a game as other ADCs, even if her DPS is strictly lower, just purely because of the range she can apply it from. Right now I'm sitting on 700 range, so I could deal way more damage than Kai'Sa, just so long as it's not a situation where Kai'Sa and me are both just straight up DPSing. J just the fact that I have more opportunities to deal damage can lead to me dealing more damage. See, this is very inefficient macro, but at the same time, I just fucking love that it gets me so much missed. There are better things to do except walking mid and trying to end. Like doing Baron. Oh, I think she just barely... Oh, almost survived there. Here we go, the turret. And some mist. And now I'm out. Let's go to Raptors, I guess. Never mind. Oh, I didn't have to kill that, my bad. Not even wanting to farm, as we've established. Oh, you know what's a smart idea? If Yasuo doesn't want to group with us, we'll group with Yasuo. Bring the grouping to him. Close one. Wow, he reached me from there. And he got baited. Fucking hell. Got ghost. Got him. Oh, I should be healing also. Or Lulu. Anyone. Seven hundred and forty range. This is what happens when no amount of trading will ever kill Senna in lane. GG. All these guys are actually invading by themselves. And 
Where's my team, bro? Small talk wasn't really hard. Oh, he gold carded the wrong person. Let me keep running here. I might need to flash soon. Oh god, he's got Halo Blades. Okay, we're fine. Nice one. Oh, he's got Ignite. I'm still fine. Just gonna have the base though. Bro, what the hell was that? And why did it take so long for my team to respond? What? So weird. Oh, oh my god. I'm actually dead. What the hell, man? That must have had a vision. My bad. Should have played it carefully. More carefully. Oh well. Yeah, okay. This game we're gonna be playing. San. Uh, but. San Azara. Into Draven Thresh. <laughs> this is looking like a dead Katarina at the very least. Nice, that screws her over even more than me. Except, obviously, she got a kill, obviously, but... In terms of how much CS she's gonna miss, she's gonna be very sad. Uh, TF. Also, Zara, you don't have to farm mid. Oh my god, that TF has gotta be so tilted. I haven't actually missed any XP from this, by the way, this is wild. The enemy should not have been pushing that, because they can't crush it in time to make me miss farm, so... The next best thing to do is just not touch it as much as possible, so as many of their minions die as possible. Just to my minions. Careful, careful. <laughs> Swear to God, if they dive here, I'm gonna be very sad. Ah, oh, my W hit a minion. Oh well. Anyway, yeah, this game we're also gonna be trying out Lethal Tempo. Not something I usually like on Senna. Compa she's dead. I won't even bother trying to help there. Not something I usually like on Senna compared to um, Fleet. But because their comp had the potential to be fairly tanky this game, I figured I'd try it out. Especially because, well, I was hoping Katarina would go Bruiser. Katarinas do often tend to go Bruiser these days. But no Bruiser Katarina, so it's not gonna be as good as it potentially could have been. But it probably should be a decent choice if you actually need a lot of DPS. Oh, my bad. I may have fucked up here. I'll try and use my E to keep myself safe here. Nice. Okay, that's the Thresh sadly doesn't go to me. Oh well. I'll probably have the mist over anything else there. Not too bad, not too bad. Anyway, pretty bad matchup for us, honestly. Uh, Draven, I think, is a pretty tough matchup for Senna, particularly when paired with an engaged support. Nice. Oh, didn't actually hit it, but that's fine. Still can't set his base. Yeah, it's pretty scary to ever just walk up and trade with them. But should, hopefully, I imagine, get easier as the game goes on. Do we need... No, we don't need to keep chasing here, I would say. There's, like, in theory... I'll try and heal him. So, in theory... Hang on. No, no, no. You're kidding me, Leeson. Stay away. Oh, this wave state is a disaster, man. Can I crash this or am I going to die? Yeah, so in theory, if Le if uh, Viego turns around and walks into me, I could hit him with a root and kill him. But why would he ever turn around and walk into me? I should expect that... I move along at this dis at this speed, and he's moving along at this speed, and the current distance between us never changes. It is a never-ending chase into their fountain, and then we die to their fountain. So, probably not the move I would prefer to take. I can already see that he is not going to walk around, in, like turn around and walk into me, so I'm not going to extend that chase. There was no point in my team chasing, because none of us that, had, that could have potentially caught him with a kind of CC, none of us had flash. The distance between us was never going to change. And at that point, when that happens to you, you need to recognize there is no point in chasing. Just end the chase. Nothing good can happen. She is dead. I'll try actually, she's taking a lot of... Or she's doing a lot of DPS to Draven. I can actually slightly follow up. Not bad. I expected to be able to deal zero damage there, but this wasn't quite so bad. And he's dead. Well, okay, I'll take it. Nice one. Not too bad. I 
And I got a double. With the unexpected, but I'm happy with that, you bitch. You son of a... Silly Billy. Got the cannon, slow good. Hmm, he's already a little bit low from that. Maybe potentially getting ganked here though, let's back off. We win this. I've got ult as well. Whoa, he just redirected my ult though. Easy. I was confident he wouldn't kill me with that. And I'd keep coming up after there in my next auto. The only way that could have gone wrong was if I miscalculated and he didn't die to my Q. Oh, he actually had a crit cloak as well, so maybe he could have crit me by pure fluke. Another way that could have gone wrong. But Zyra, what the fuck? Thank god I'm playing Senna, so I don't mind too much. When she does steal cannons, I just get a free mist, which is not a bad reward. Okay, probably going to want to do Storm Razor here, I imagine. Yeah, I'll want a lot of, um, like, running away power. <laughs> is one way to put it. Survivability is another way people might say, refer to it. Oh, she's pretty dead here. Whoa, what was the flash for, though? I think Leeson might be dead here as well. I have to flash. God damn it. That was terrible. Come on. Got him. Now I just need to avoid. No! I was gonna say his ult actually, not even his hook. Ooh, wow, that sucks. <laughs> Blue card salute. Ooh. He missed out on the gold card there. There it is. Man, this Draven is having way too easy a game. Like, he should be getting absolutely shit stumped if we were just talking about, like, me versus him. But he just keeps getting these kills handed over to him. I've played him in every single interaction and he just... Then somebody walks into lane and dies to him. Should I ult here? I can. Oh, I missed it. Oh, God. You're kidding me. I wasn't even looking. Oh, come on. I got blocked by Katarina. Okay, that's one kill. We'll ignore the mist, I think. Actually. Oh, God. Get me out. Never mind, then. Dude, what was she already doing here? Oh, d d Zyra just died to him again, didn't she? I was just talking about how people walk into lane and die to Draven, and then somebody walked into lane and died to Draven. <laughs> that's so funny, actually. I think uh, Karina might still be in the lane. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, I'm on my tier 2 range, 640 auto attack range. Pretty decent range advantage to have over Thresh. And of Draven. We played absolutely safe there. I was wondering if he might have flush. Good. Nice! What the hell? Well played. That was clean. Well, just with the sheer amount of fighting that's been going on, I've actually had a lot of value to lethal tempo already, and I wasn't even taking it for the lane phase. I don't want to go for the plating. 
Like that's bait. I need to just spend my gold. Ideally, I would have also crashed the wave, but I don't think I have time. I wonder if uh, Guild Force is viable on Senna. Probably not. I don't see why not, though. I just know nobody uses it on ADC or support. You don't have to, Zara. You don't have to. You can leave it. Thank you. At the very least, let me be in the lane if you're gonna farm so I can get missed. Got him. Oh, this is Leeson. Whoa, this guy has a lot of range. Fuck me, my bad. Wait, did, what? How did he have that range? He, I thought he had lethal tempo stacked up, but he just didn't. So where the fuck? An ally has been slain. <sighs> that missing that W was an idea though. Dude, look at that. It lost X. Oh, that must have been like very max range. Oh well. Oh, that's not in the brush. Oh, didn't think about that. Nicely done. Nice one. Thank God he didn't take chances and ulted. In fact, I think he even delayed his ult a bit too long. Thankfully, it paid off. No Drake to take. Thank god he went for that because I was going to have to lose a lot of farm there. Oh low. Oh I'm actually in the turret, my bad. Okay. Mm, in case she kills Lee, and I just can't risk walking up. This could be good though with TF. Please tell me he has a cold card. Thank god he does. A lot of them while he's rooted. Ooh. Nice one. <laughs> Angled myself there so I could hit fresh with my Q, but also 2 CS. Cause I'm next level like that. Uh, sorry, not 2 CS, um 2 missed. Okay, surprisingly getting a lot of mist here just because of the sheer amount of fighting. We should leave this though. Nice. Both me and Draven are two atoms, but I'm gonna be massively upscaling. Zara is very much trolling by going top here. Oh god. This is probably a really bad decision from Lee Sin. Oof. Nice one. Whoa, okay, I got lethal tempo. No. Okay, he's dead. It's ridiculous, man. So much fighting. Okay, I don't know where Katarina is. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to assume she's coming bot until I get confirmation otherwise. Exactly. We'll place a ward here. Get some information on her whereabouts. Nah, you're kidding me. Fuck me, my bad. Whoa, wait. Oh, you're just kidding me. 
My bad. I didn't think she would be able to uh, reach me and E me before she was rooted. Oh well. That sucks. If only I had vision in the trial already. If only there was a rule that would like... Uh, can you imagine, man? If there was like a rule that would just like lean with the ADC and like provide vision in the area. How OP would that be? Maybe it's not as good as the current meta, though, of that person going top lane and just getting random kills. It's probably the safest choice. Ooh, let's try an ult here. Ah. Okay, at least I call Thresh. Nice. I'll take it. I am actually amazed with how horrible Zara is playing. Especially in the early lane. That she's actually got as many kills as she does. She's not doing as bad lately. Like, these uh, roams from hers are terrible. But, um, like, she's been very crucial in so many fights. Just landing her combo and Draven. Setting up the kills for me. Or even for herself. Which I don't care so long as we actually win fights anyway. How much crit do I have? 85%. Cool. Next crit cloak. Gets me full crit. Oh. Nice. No idea where Draven is. I am not going for that blue with no vision, man. TF, no, your cannon. Oh, hello. That's where their bot lane is. Oh, that's where Katarina is. Ah, that minion moved. Oh, he's got Fire Cannon now. I could tell just because of that range. I was hoping that would be true. Alright, I'm also going to need Fire Cannon so I can match his range. This makes it very hard to join this fight. Basically impossible. I need to walk around. It's the only way. And without a boss cone there... Yeah, I can't do much. Ah, oh, I meant to heal Lisa in there. Instant Brutes. Fuck me, that Farkinen is annoying. Ah, oh, come on! Let's click, basically. And we're good. Zyra! Where's the Katarina? Oh, there she is. What the? Wait, what? I didn't notice her. Weird. Oh. Nice. What an absolute fiesta of a game, man. Like, I can't believe it. What on earth is happening? The <laughs> sure kills. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm so close to full build. Yeah. This, this gold is about to stop being efficient on me, my bad. I'm gonna be around all the dying monsters and minions so I can get more mist. Just queue that to get the get them more efficiently. Alright, I really need the base. Oh, TF. I don't think she can kill me if she uses her burst on TF, so... Oh god. They're probably flashing ghost. Wow! Oh my god. Nice one. Not bad. Oh my god, the mist. Yeah, we can do Baron. This is super solid. Nobody's alive to contest. I'm gonna try and position so I can heal Leeson with my Q every time I Q the Baron. Nice. 
I'm pretty sure the uh, heal hitbox is a lot bigger than the damage hitbox. That's why this works. Hmm, I wasn't sure if we could duo it, but it looks to be working quite effectively. So it's for the best that our team is just pushing mid. So we get as much as possible. Sentinels of Light, don't fear the dark. What the fuck is that? Hello, I've never read into the Sentinels lore. I don't know what the hell that means. Alright, what do we build now? They're not really that tanky. I'm gonna do the... Ooh, what if I do Renance? I think Renance could be quite solid here. That or Phantom Dancer. A Zeal item feels optimal here, though. Because Kiting feels really, god really good here, rather. <clears throat> I like the more moves, but I have the better, so... I might even just do Runan's and Phantom Dancer. Might be a bit troll, though. We'll see. Depends on how much armor they build. Survivability is 100% more useful for me than damage, though. And Lord Dominic's at its core is a damage item. Dude, this feels like a fucking 30 minute game, but it's only 22. It's been way too much action. Yeah, we should group bot. It's kind of a shame though, because I'm about to have the gold to upgrade my zeal item, but I've, I've got a group of the team and make use of our Baron buff. Zara. Okay, nice. I thought she was getting caught there. One. Oh wait, this is a mistake. What a terrible ult. I gotta get out. My range is completely absurd, man. With lethal tempo, it's 770 already. We are so lucky, by the way, that um, the game went as well for us as it did, because the enemies were just really screwed up giving me kills early on when they were just getting absolutely free kills from Zyra. They just needed to play a little bit more respectfully. And then the game would have been absolutely free for them. Alright, GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Senna to Diamond. This game playing Senna Morgana. Into Ashbrand. Holy fuck, that was a clutch dodge. That's my passive on, or my Q on brand. Which I can tell because I didn't park my passive. I'll use my Q on Ash. I'd rather trade onto Ash than Brent there. We don't want to take too long trades against Ash, by the way, since, well, A, that's not where Senna shines, and also Ash is running lethal tempo. So I want to avoid giving her too many stacks on that. Still have to back off here. Triple Morgana. She is dead there. That's sad. Still 
Oh, you're kidding me. How can I not get that cannon? The great thing about playing Senna, though, is, of course, the more CS you miss, the more miss you get, so you don't have to feel too bad about missing a ridiculous amount of farm. Okay, let's look to shove this next wave. Then we can base. Morgana? Do you want to help me shove? Like, what? It's... <laughs> Minimum Platinum Omar, right? How on earth? You literally have a wave clear ability, man. Alright, let's crash anyway. See, now she uses her wave clear ability on the wave. Now when she's not meant to be hitting it. She did it again. What is wrong with these support players, bro? My god. If she dies farming my wave, that is just unreal. She's probably fine though. When can I just be a person? When can I be me? I missed out on at least three CS there, probably four to five in reality. And now she recalls leaving the wave pushing towards them. Lovely. I actually cannot safely step up here at all. Oh, she actually stayed. Okay, never mind. Into ward then. I believe Brand is in a brush somewhere. Oh, he was actually over there. I thought he would would be in one of these brushes. This is way overextended, actually. No bad, no bad. Ah. Okay. Getting so much damage now, though. Oh my god, her damage. Ooh, missed my W. All good that we get the kill. Nice one, Katarina. She even lives. What a beast. Now please- Morgana, you've used your- Wave clear to steal my CS all game. Now please, help use it to help me farm. For a good cause, not to farm, to shove, to crash. It's unreal, man. How do they not- what? This is not an advanced concept! Use your wave clear to help me shove the wave! But they only do it when I'm not in the lane. It's so crazy, man. If you're a low elo support, can you, ex like, can you explain to me the mindset here? I don't understand. I don't even need her to understand like or like think herself. Ooh, I should use my like abilities to help the ADC shove here. I should use my auto attacks to help the ADC shove. I just need her to hear my ping and obey. So if you're in a if you're a loyal support and you do this, can you explain to me what is the thought process? What what goes on in your head when the ADC is pinging to shove and you just don't? Do you just not understand that the purpose that the purpose of the ping is to tell you to shove? Are you just sitting there confused? Well, I don't get it, man. It's so weird. I think we both want to win, but only one of us plays like we want to win. See, this was completely pointless. Why use it now? I just missed a bunch of plus hits already because of that. At least two. Let's start banning Morgana. Oh man. Rest in peace. Oh my god. Getting completely spaced because of her lethal tempo. 
Ow. Trade lost it so long, Brand got all of his cooldowns back. Oh, she hit level 6. I think I'm fine, though. Yep, barely. <laughs> Brand not even choosing to participate in the dive, I respect it. He's above that shit. Nice one. Oh, minion walked right in front of it. I'm pretty sure that minion wasn't there when I started looking to cast Q or cast W. She hits a Q. Uh, if she hits a Q, I can follow it up with my ult. Uh oh. Do I want to try and help here? Probably not, no. I don't have mana to fight here. Okay, we both live. Not too bad. Wave state is an absolute disaster, but well. They're actually fixing it for us, though. No bud. Alright, which one do I want to do this game? Static Shiver Storm Razor. I think I'll do Static Shove. Stormers would mainly be a little bit useful for the Wukong and the Zed, don't, but it's not immensely important for either one of those, I would say. Oof. If I'd realized it was going to get rooted there, I would aim the Q at him. No bad. Let's ult the brand. That's a kill. Got her. Nice. We really played Morgana for once. I want to say. We really could do with some better vision. Okay, we see Zed right now at least. I'm not... I don't imagine we're gonna get soloed by Ivan, right? Ah, uh, but he's gonna try and set up something for his laners, I guess. We'll see if it works. I should still not have ult. Maybe something for Kane here. Come on! Come on! Oh, holy shit, how long can they see me for? Damn. Oh well. Uh, that's an ideal. I had a pretty big shot down there. I'm just not gonna buy anything here. I can't really get anything too useful since I don't want to do Berserkers against this comp for sure. Damn, that Iron Shield just screwed me over so hard though. Well, no, I suppose it didn't matter. I didn't want to stay any longer than that anyway. It's, uh,. Just unlucky timing for me getting stunned in general. Fuck. No, she just needed to be patient. Oh, I didn't need to cleanse that, my bad. We're gonna actually spell shielded me. Uh, no, we should continue on to Brent. Damn it. Okay. Wait, really? My static shift did not target those costers. Weird. Not bad. Nice one. Enemy Iron once again. How did I miss? Oh, my bad. Did not expect him to die there. Hey, I hit Ash. Not bad.
Yeah, we can try and bait here. God, I'm sad I wasted my cleanse. Oh. You know what? She does die for that, but that's... Ooh, I was gonna say worth it until I saw the 900 gold shutdown. Well, there's a lot of upside to it. She does miss out on a lot of farm. I really don't know if I can stretch that into a win, but... It's not terrible. It's not an absolute disaster, as far as shutdowns go. Oh my god, that Karina had a lot of gold. Alright, we base. I won't get Swifties yet. Ah, damn it, hang on. There we go. Uh-oh. If he has ult, she's dead 100%. If he gets W soon, she's dead 100%. Okay, at least she got the ultimate, though. That's good. I uh, honestly don't think I'm really even needed here. Wow. Yeah, I guess I was. Nice one, Katarina. Waiting for my static shiv. No point doing two autos if I can kill them in one. He's obviously going to use E as soon as uh, I step into range, so I step out of range immediately. <laughs> nice. He might be dead here. Ah, don't quite have the damage, but Morgana does. Awesome. Hmm. I don't need to shove another wave. I'll just sell refillable for Infinity Edge. There we go. And I got 60% crit chance. Means I'm getting 20% for my passive. And we're pretty close to getting 30% as well. Just need 6 more missed. She might actually get the turret this time. I'm gonna go down it did. Hopefully that didn't give gold to Ash. Hang on. Ah, you're kidding me. Bro. Whoa, she flashed on me. I didn't expect that. That could have maybe screwed me if she had a bit more burst or if I'd been a bit lower. But I was baiting. I could have cleansed even faster, I was just wanting to draw her to me before. I wasn't actually sure what what was the first ideal move after my cleanse, or was it to Q, was it to ult? Because my decision, my split second decision for doing ult was, I guess, um, if I do it as a surprise move immediately after cleansing, then she might be like too surprised to actually stop moving towards me, which means I'll land the free ultimate, and then afterwards hopefully I can also hit her with an auto or a Q and that would kill her. But, uh, while ult would be like the best move for, like, assuring 100% that I don't lose that fight, it's not necessarily the best for securing the kill, because she could just notice that I'm cleansing and ulting and just walk away. And Q would have been a slow, which would guarantee anything else, but if I start with the Q, I'm not 100% guaranteed to win, because it's not as much damage or... Shielding slash healing as the ultimate is. So, I mean, I guess my approach worked. I don't know if it was the optimal approach. But it's what I came up with in the moment, and it worked fine, I guess. Can't complain with the results. Oh, I should be rooting Daisy. There we go. <laughs> nice one, guys. Uh, should I risk stepping onto that mist? I don't think so. We don't have enough vision there for me to get it. Oh, man. He hadn't uh, finished his jungle item before then. 
Getting mist from there, getting mist from here. There's gonna be three mist from these raptors. This is a better example of what raptors are like for Senna. Just being near your jungler while he farms them. Oh. Nice. I think I'll get out of here. Oh. Do I need to ult here? I doubt it. Not unless I want to kill Steel. Oh, Kane actually might need me to ult. Oh, <laughs> now it's completely overkill. Oh well. Shit happens. Didn't expect the Yas ult. I can go near Kane while he's farming this as well. Also gives probably, I guess, even more mist than the Raptors. Oh, more mist from this overall. Now he does the Raptors. We're going to follow him here. In the meantime, I mean, it could be farming mid, but you can see that's very overextended. I wouldn't want to be there. We want to be just killing time with our jungler farming missed and then this wave should in theory arrive to me and i can farm it not morgana oh yeah nice that was satisfying at least Sheesh. Fucking hell. Is that a penta? <laughs> nice one, cat. Maybe I will go defeated for another Senna video. Why not? Oh my lord. Ah, I misclicked. Oh well. Got them through it. I was playing with fire by not ulting here, but I was... thought it would probably be more consistent to just dodge his... Try and dodge his abilities anyway. Oh. Now I'm fucked. Where am I? Wow, that is actually really lucky. Now we want to end so my kitty doesn't get ruined. <laughs> nice, GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Senna the Diamond. This game playing Senna Scion into Lucian Thresh. Maybe there's another matchup where I could have tested Lethal Tempo again, especially given that they have an Amumu, a tank. But, oh well, didn't think to do it, so we'll run with the fleet as usual. Nice one. Getting off some really good trades so far. Thresh is not really like walking forward to pressure me at all, so it's just pretty much me 1v1 against Lucian right now. Because of my superior range, I just win those trades. Oof, meant to hit Thresh there. Okay, nice. 
already got six mist, which is pretty good for this early on. And don't forget, this is not just talking about the scaling of the mist uh, alone, but I'm also getting 4.5 extra AD from getting so much mist early on. And that can easily influence fights, remember. Oh, I'm gonna have to cleanse that. Definitely fucked up there. Just gotta make sure I'm not overstepping when I'm going for a poke onto the Lucian. And I must not greed for too much, too many passive stacks, if it's not safe to go for. Probably gonna have to play safe for now because with this HP, if I get a lend, I'm just gonna die instantly. It's not just even uh, at this point about dodging thresh hooks. At this point, if he just like flash, play engages onto me, then I'm just gonna easily die. So I need to offer a lot more respect now until I've got like either a big HP lead again or I just straight up heal a lot from my passive to the point where I'm not gonna get one shot by a slight breeze of thresh flashes on me. I think Lucian may be looking to base here. Hmm. It's not easy to punish because if I leave this frozen here, this is definitely going to hit my turret. It's way too close to the turret. But my wave clear by itself is also just not enough. Okay, Lucian is staying. This is perfect. I think he should have based. Nice one. I'm no longer f afraid of getting one shot by a thresh play. I've got a lot of HP now. You can see though, as their all-in threat has increased, suddenly my rate of uh, picking up souls has massively dropped. Just because I'm not able to trade as much. That's why Sen is just really, really good in those matchups where you can trade so much without ever actually worrying about dying. Just because of the nature of the enemy bot lane. Um, probably don't want the base if I don't have to. I do with San actually frontlining here. Just checking the brush to see if they're actually gone or not. If they are gone, if we have actually have confirmation that they're gone, then we can shove. I'm trying to. I don't know why it keeps doing the wrong ping. What the fuck? There we go. All right, I'm gonna have to leave the wave like that. If it's frozen, then it sucks. But I can't really afford to overstay there. Okay, nice. Kazakh should be getting a drake for us here. Cool. Alright, Webstead is... No, it wasn't perfect, I definitely lost more CS there than I had to. But it is also like self-fixing in nature there, just because so many of my CS were close to the turret. So it's not too bad. I'm happy with that. It's not as good a result as straight up crashing the wave, but it's so much safer. Oh, I meant to use either. Mainly just to hide Scion. Okay, not bad. 
I'm traded, I want to say pretty evenly there, if not straight up on the trade. And obviously any trade that doesn't result in death or too much HP lost for Senna is always a good trade. Especially if you're getting two missed from it by hitting both enemies. Oh, damn it. Got it. I don't have any abilities up now though, so I don't want to trade here. Oof, nice try. Wait, you're kidding me. Oh, Lucina's Ghost, that's pretty weird. Oh, I've been having my fucking potions in the wrong slot this whole time. I've been mashing too. My bad. I should have a lot more HP right now than what I currently have. Okay, we survived the dive though, which is the important thing. Just gonna place a ward real fast. We don't actually know that Amumu is gone. So try even trying to shove here is risky, but I also feel like we can out outplay it if he's staying. I think ideally I would have Sion just face check all of these brushes. Maybe it backfires if Amumu can actually kill him, but I think we could just straight up fight. Okay, it's looking promising. So he's not there either. I think he's just straight up gone at this point. We would have seen him by now somewhere. Okay, we're gonna do static shift this game. I don't think we need Storm Razor. Lucian should be basing here. I should actually have enough wave clear. Not to worry about a scenario like the previous one. Since we have no cover this time. God's gift to ADCs without natural wave clear. There's a minute protecting me from the pressure right now. Shame I couldn't actually proc my passive from it though. I was hoping I'd reach him sooner. He's got tier 2 boots right now and I don't. Is the reason why that didn't work, I guess. I want that soul, but I've got to be very respectful of Thresh here. Nice one. Mm, I probably should have just queued him. Instead of going for the mist. Either way, I would have had the same amount of mist if the mist happened to disappear there, but at least I would have done damage to them in the process. <laughs> okay, we barely live, my bad. We survived this breeze. But you see how frail we can be in these engaged lanes. Okay, this is looking promising. Whoa, Kha'Zix, what was that jump? Okay, we missed Lucian. We do give our teammates a shield, though. I gotta be very careful about this moment. Actually, I've got cleanse. I don't have to worry too much, do I? I just need sound to front line. You're kidding me. <laughs> Come on, we were winning this fight, bro. Oh well. Um, it's gonna be trying to dive me. Sound, stay near me. Stay near me. Where did he go? May have just gone back mid. Yeah, he did. Okay, cool. Okay, let's try and shove this. What is wrong with pings in this game, man? I'm trying to ping top right. There we go. Alright, awesome. So yeah, I mean, at least we're doing 
uh, decently here in the sense that I think both me and San are going to skill both Lucian and Thresh. So the fact that we even have a slight lead here, aside from the assist that Lucian got in uh, level 1 invade, uh, is pretty decent. But it's not, also not like as good as it could be, considering how little mist I have. Like, at least we're going to skill, but we're not like dominating them or anything. Which is what I would usually say if we're like 0, zero, zero but with really high mist. Whoops. I Killing Shut down. Currently getting 21 extra AD from our mist. Bro, this mini block, what? I don't have cleanse, remember, so... It'll play very carefully in, in any situation where I suspect the Mumu might be around. I'm just really praying he's not in this brush. Nice. Did I be clear? I did. Okay. As long as they're just not like overstepping, then there's not much to do. I just don't want to overforce trades here, you know? So it's a pretty boring game, pretty boring lane. It is what it is. It's just how it has to be. The important thing is just not make mistakes in this lane where one mistake easily gets you killed. We got cleanse again in 15, so that's gonna keep us safe from hopefully most attempts to force really hard from Thresh if he can't actually hook me properly. Means that even, even if he flash flays me and manages to land a hook uh, as a result of that, it doesn't completely screw me. He's looking to flank now, he's trying to get creative to find an engage here. My bad. Ugh, missing on two missed there. Not too bad. Let's keep this wave slightly on our side of the map, actually. As best as I can, anyway. He's probably trying to look for a flash play here. He knows I die. If he manages to land the hook without. My cleanse up. I don't actually have to hit any of these two minions because I know with the static ship proc I get all three anyway, so I'm not gonna waste all those. I remember my nightmares. Slight HP advantage revolution, doesn't really matter. They still beat me in all ins. I know he's gonna hook, which means his long range engage is gone, and even if he flash flays, it means his follow up to that engage is gone, so. I have to be ultra careful there. So we're up in CS on a champion where I don't even care too much even if I lose CS, so this is great. Okay, nice. Hello, Momo. Light should teach us not to fear the dark. Illusion of Dash. I got Kazakhs behind us, so I don't have to be too afraid of an engage here, I hope. Nice one. I really shouldn't have bothered ulting, oh well. No follow from a team, no kill. And that's not their fault. I should have been paying, uh, like, following their lead. 
in that situation. Holy shit, it's been so long since either me or Lucian were recalled, I just realized. I'm out of here, I don't want to try and overstay for this turret. Oh, Thrust just recently died. From mid and died, I guess. Potentially to the Kha'Zix he escaped from. Cool. Let's get a blue trinket. Gonna use E to get into lane a little bit faster as well. It's giving me... Like 70 movement speed, god damn, that's a lot. Wait, you're kidding me, this E actually scales with AP? Dude, AP Senna has to be such a funny build. Just to move really fast, so your entire team moves really fast. I wonder if that's something that could be underrated. Maybe something that sounds really troll, but then you see it in effect and you realize, wait, this is actually broken. I'm not saying that's the case, I'm just theorizing here. They see me, so I need to be very careful here. Damn. Yeah, that's one missed obtained. Can't reach the other one. Oh well. I got many covers. I don't know what he was thinking there. Uh, I don't know what I'm thinking here. God, that was a close one. I need to cleanse that just to be safe. Yeah, cleanse is definitely a really good pick for the situation. I didn't actually uh, mention it so far, but it's both decent into Thresh, and then also obviously really good into TF, really good into Momo. It's just so perfect. We've already had so much value out of it, and it's going to continue to be useful throughout the entire game. Whether we get hit by Thresh hooks or not. That was just a risk. One that paid off. Ooh. Wait, I need to be very careful there. Would rather focus solution. Ah, oh, cancel not out there. Ah, oh, come on. Oof, this was very unlucky, I want to say. Nearly got Q, but not in time. God damn it. How did that hook even hit me over a Scion with his massive fucking hitbox? Oh, I think he had just happened to move to the left at exactly the same moment. Yep. Bro. He looked like he was like walking to cover the hook, but then he just randomly didn't. Sucks. Just takes a tiny mistake like that to get me killed, man. I was like full HP when I get hit by the hook. Doesn't matter. The all in power is just too good. That's exactly why we need to play so carefully. You can see in hindsight that as if I don't have trust in sound to just, like, intentionally block hooks for me, then I can't even be trying to go aggressive on Lucian there. That is just over-aggressive in that situation for me, even if he's low. Alright, I can't afford to extend any further than this, so we're going to rotate to mid for now. Can always rotate back to bot if they're pushing it in. He is pushing it in. I'm going to return to bot lane then.
By the way, since some of you are inevitably going to ask, wouldn't it be better in this lane for San to be farming and me to be not farming? Absolutely it would be, but we did not coordinate that. <laughs> That's more of a duo strategy. And I could just have asked in champ select or in game even. Hey, San, do you want to farm and we'll do a fasting set instead of farming set? And he could have said, yeah. And then we get into the game and it turns out he has no fucking idea how to lost hit because he's Sion. Like, he's a support main. And he also has no idea when it's safe to farm because he's support main. And it turns into an absolute disaster because we didn't plan it ahead, did we? I don't trust random solo key supports to execute fasting center properly. So I just farm by default. Maybe I'll consider it if my support proposes it instead of me. Oh man, I wanted to get the... All the three CS with the static shove. This could be good. Nice one. Nice one, guys. Could have maybe looked to see whether I could have ulted anybody there for the ult since this Amumu, like I literally did not need to be looking at my screen to kill Amumu there. I could just leave my character out attacking him while looking to see if anybody could be killed there since Kenan was on someone. Turns out TF is quite low, so maybe, maybe he could have been killed. Oh man. Oh, my bad. I was waiting to see whether it would be necessary. Gonna add more damage than I realized. Yeah, the miss stacking is super slow this game, both because of the our very like little ability to actually trade in lane, and also because I've spent so much time actually farming instead of like giving farm over to my solo laners. But on the other hand, that does mean that I get a lot of gold, so it's not too bad. And again, I have skill Lucian no matter what, so... Any situation where I'm not just giving over a bunch of kills to the enemy bot lane is really favorable to us. Even if it's not super optimal, super ideal. Okay. Nice. So managed to hit our third passive breakpoint at least. Ow, didn't think that would hit. Nice one. And now I don't have ult. Damn. Okay, this red buff is despawning in 20 seconds. I'm gonna go get that. How much do I need for Farkanen? I need about 500 gold. I don't have to stay all the way for it, but I think I can get away with that. I need to walk into the sparse just to get vision of enemies. It's a little bit risky, but I need to know if somebody's... Oh, God. Blocked me. That was way too much CC there. Uh, if it, Maybe if I'd managed to avoid the Thresh hook, maybe it could have worked out. But I needed to... Like, in hindsight, I needed to cleanse three different things there. The Thresh hook, the TFW, the Amumu ult. That was a bigger collapse than I expected, sadly, because of the Amumu flanking. I don't know how he got in that position. My bad. Alright, this Farcanon is going to help a lot for just being able to pressure from a long range. Could really use it. Finally, I'll actually be able to threaten the Lucian. Without worrying about the dying every single time if I do. Alright, this is going to be pushing towards us. I'm going to go bolt lane to farm that up. Damn, they were taking absolutely no risks of killing me there, though. Because I was even thinking they might, like, not realize how much CC they needed to hit me with. Because of my cleanse. But they didn't even wait for my cleanse to throw, like, three different CCs on me, including a Moon Wolt. Nice. 
The outcome is the same though, either way. They would have eventually realized how much they needed to CC me if I did cleanse something. My only hope really was um, dodging Thresh Hook, cleansing Amumu. No, sorry, cleansing TFW. Oh, this guy's dead. Cleansing TFW and then flashing away from the Amumu Q and being out of range of Amumu ult. I think they might have vision here. This guy is definitely alone, though. Pretty sure I just slowed him. Yep. Nice swan. Lovely. Got him. We see all three of the rest of them over here, so I know I'm safe. Come on. Oh, oh well. We missed at least. I worked it over for this. It's looking pretty over already, but we might be able to catch out the F as well. I'll use my E to rotate faster. Probably nothing happening now. Okay, that's fine. We'll do Drake. Start healing setup. We got cleanse up in 45 again. I wouldn't assume a Mumbo would rush over here. Because he shouldn't expect to win a fight, but if he does, he might be able to contest the Drake. That's fine. Alright, do I want to maximize my damage here, or do I just go... Another oh, no, ZL item. Or even Storm Razor. I'd rather do ZL items, because they're cheaper, though. I think uh, f um, Runans actually could be solid here. I feel like I'm gonna- I just get the feeling they're gonna be clumped up a lot. I don't know why I'm getting that feeling, but let's test it out. Either way, it's pretty solid on Senna, just because uh, whenever you're multiplying your autos through Runans, it applies- uh, it counts as like three separate autos to reduce your Q cooldown by one each time, so you can potentially reduce your Q cooldown by three seconds per auto. Nemo's static shed, my wave clear is not like amazing. That's a blue card, by the way. Wait, I just cleansed too fast, my bad. Oh well. No oh, biggie? <laughs> Good shit. Yeah, yeah, we should be doing Baron. It's silly to go mid for any reason here. Whoa, that one shot. Holy shit. Tried to insta ult there. He still died way too fast. Oh, and now suddenly Kennen died. Nice. If he had ult there and actually insta used it, that could have been tricky for me. Oof. Wait, he's actually just running into me. Cool. I guess he didn't notice how much damage he was taking. To be fair, I've been in that situation. I, I can relate. <laughs> you just focused on the kill, you take a little bit of what you think is inconsequential damage, and you just don't pay enough attention to your HP to realize how much damage you actually took. Because you're focused on the kill. Cool. Alright, I'm out of here. I can get my Runans and... Can I get my Swifties? I think so. No, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can. Cool. Or do I want to do Berserkers at this point? To be honest, I think Berserkers are fine. 
I've got enough damage at this stage that their DPS increase should be worth it. Top solution for his good farm this game. Even with me not going out of my way to get as much farm as I possibly could, like other ADCs, I still expect to be ahead and farm at the Silo with as much farm. So he's doing above average. Close one. <laughs> he really expected that to land. Ow, wait. Ow, holy shit. Jesus. That was a really close one. He really wanted me. Holy fuck, so much mist. I'm gonna come to these Nexus turrets and kill them. Ooh, if I'd been hit by those cards, I might have actually died. He's done the TF one-shot build, which is why he keeps going for blue card, because it's the highest damage one. Didn't work out for him, though. GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Senna Diamond. This game playing Senna Karma into Kaisa Taric, which I want to say is going to be a really good matchup. Assuming they're not in this brush. Okay, good. That would have aged terribly if they were actually in that brush. Um, yeah, it should be a pretty good matchup because Tarek is, like, an engaged support, but, me but you know, super short-ranged. Doesn't really have the range to, uh, really be a threat to me, I should assume. And Kais is also a really short-range ADC. Doesn't really have the same all-in potential that Lucian has, at least until level 6. So we should be able to bully her and Tarek fairly easily early on. And by the time they could actually start to be a threat... I'm gonna say I should have already skilled enough from picking up mist that hopefully it won't be a concern anymore. And either way, I, even at level six, their engage still kind of sucks. It just it just so happens that Kaiser just gains the ability to dash on me, but that only helps so much. So Kaiser is doing the right thing right now, just conceding farm instead of trying to take really bad trades here. Instead of letting us poke her while she goes for CS. A lot of people just greed uh, for CS in that situation and just take, end up taking too much damage. Oh, my bad. Wow, okay, three missed though. I am rewarded. Pop a potion here. I don't even know how I've ended up lower HP than Kaisa, but it is what it is. I guess she has Halo Blade, so early trading, if um, she does manage to get close to me, is actually quite strong. Dude, ah, oh, I got a curved pathing there. That blows a mite out of this, hopefully not. Okay, nice one, Karma. Oof. Dude, I was walk intending to walk in a straight line where I knew Taraki wouldn't hit me. Then my pathing randomly curved. Because of mini block, I guess. i be very careful about how I play this. But if I play it right... Damn, didn't hit. Okay, Kaisa W is going to be back up soon. Karma. I was ready to flash if it was going to hit me, but... Oh, well. Um, I can't remember whether they leashed or not. I'm just going to play it safe in base here. It sucks, but it is what it is. My bad. That technically started with my mistake. Even if my... If, even if Miniblock didn't completely fuck over my pathing there, there was always the chance, of course, that Tarek would just flash on me still. It wasn't completely risk-free what I was doing, even if mini mechanics didn't fuck me over there. That was me greeting for a passive proc. This isn't going to be too bad if Kai'Sa actually just refuses to base here, though. No 
So if she bases here, we're going to have a freeze, and this is going to undo all the good that she obtained here. But if she tries to shove this in, we're here in time that we can still freeze it anyway. And if she tries to stop us freezing, she should be low enough that hopefully there's no chance of that working. I've also managed to preserve my flash as well as my life. So that's actually really, really, really huge with how badly that fight actually went. We got a kill back as well. Not onto me, but onto Karma. Still decent. Securing Karma there. So we both get a heal so we can maintain this freeze. Yeah, so aside from the fact that I got an assist and Karma got a kill, this I, I would say this is actually maybe even benefiting us. Not sure. But definitely it's not a disaster for sure. Sending this out since it doesn't need to be so close to the turret and doesn't need to be such a big wave either. Crap, this guy has a lot of XP compared to me, though. I guess I guess while we got similar, like, we uh, while we were in lane for similar amounts of XP, I think she got more solo XP than I did. Because of the time that I spent getting XP while she wasn't in the lane, I was with Karma while she spent that time alone. Oh, well. I still got uh, some more CS to soak up here, so it's not as big as it seems, actually, I guess. But it's still... Substantial. Okay, freeze is finally broken. Couldn't really avoid that with minions going under turret. God damn, this Kaisa takes no damage though, what the fuck? Maybe I'm just uh, underrating the Tarek shielding and healing. I guess I'm just going to focus on trying to bully Tarek over Kaisa. My range advantage doesn't feel as big as it could be right now until my next breakpoints. I guess I need even more range if I want to actually compete with her Halo Blitz. God damn it. Do you have boots? No. I don't know why he feels so fast for me then. Alright, we'll just focus on crushing this and then I've got a lot of gold that I want to spend. Wow. Misclick. I guess. Or he might have dodged it. I'm not entirely sure. Okay, we still get the passive anyway. Alright, I am just going to focus on basing here. We got a Drake thanks to Karthus. Nice one. That's level 6. I'm not too far off of level 6 myself though. Hopefully my recall doesn't get cancelled here. Nice. And I think what we're going to do this game is probably going to be Stormraiser, because we could really do it with some kiting power. It's not even just for the Kai'Sa, but also for the Taric as well. It's super important to be able to kite effectively. Because he does so much damage when he can stick into melee range. So if we, he ever manages to get into melee range through, like, cheesing in a brush or just landing a stun and walking up to me or whatever, the sooner I can, like... Uh, put some distance between us again, the better it is. Or if he flashes on me, obviously, as well. Okay, we got a freeze here again. Ideally, we drag this out a little bit. It is a little tiny bit risky, though. Nice. Alright, Karma, you can base. 
You should have gold, right? She did. Uh, did she base with me? She might not have. Either way, she could like go roam or something. It's just completely pointless for her to be soaking up XP here. But it is what it is. So we should maintain the freeze. If we can, which we can. And anyway, I'm pretty sure my um, all-time record for like most wins in a row without defeats throughout these Unranked Diamond series was 22 and 0 on Zaya. So I already matched that. That's cool. Didn't expect it to be on Senna of all champions, but I guess it. You know, I hope that backs up what I've been saying that actually Senna ADC is super underrated. Oh, come on. Bro, this minion block. I have to use Ghost just to fucking... That's so annoying. I have to use Ghost just to get rid of the minion collision. Damn it. Sadly, that's not going to be a kill. Oh well. Stupid ass minion collision. That's the second time this game I've been screwed over by minions, man. What can I say? It was actually just a completely impenetrable wall for me there. Alright, Storm Miser will hopefully help a lot here. I'm not getting that much miss compared to how I expected this lane to go, to be honest. But we're doing alright. <laughs> Unlucky. Nice one. I really don't mind giving up CS for going for trades like that because at the end of the day there's just increased chances of dropping mist anyway, so it's not a disaster for its center compared to how it would be for other ADCs. Damn it. Oh well, I still get the heal at least. Hmm. Nice one. Oh, I did have managed to hit her with that. I wasn't sure. Got her. Well played, Karma. We played that so well. Look at how long we were diving there without without actually getting either any aggro or barely any. Just constantly weaving in and out of the turret range. Just a random cue, because... Just in case somehow they happen to get onto me, that will increase my chances of surviving if they happen to cancel my base. 
Doesn't cost me anything to use, just use a random queue there. Or actually, I feel like Swifties are just going to be really important here, so we're going to prioritize them over BFs art even. Let's get Swifties and Pickaxe. I've also just hit my second breakpoint of range from my passive, so this is really solid for the matchup. The more we are range, the more it's going to be like how I actually envisioned this lane to go. Also, because I'm going Storm Wizard here instead of Static Shiv, I can actually freeze. Maybe freezing was the answer all along. Not that you can always freeze, though. You can't always tank the wave. It's definitely become a lot easier since we were able to start freezing, though. Got a massive CS lead over Kai'Sa. Okay, Turk, or sorry, uh, Silas clearly wants to lane gank here, I think. I wanted to place a warden here, sadly I couldn't really risk continuing walking forwards there with Turk walking up. But Silas surely knows that I saw him go in the brush, right? No, but... That is crazy. That is so insane. Holy shit. Did we not literally all see Silas walk into that brush? Did is, did Karma just not notice or what? That is so crazy. Oh, I need, I'm gonna get that there. Dude, this minion block again. Holy shit. I'm gonna pop Ghost, play it safe. Alright, should be fine if he doesn't randomly flash there. Oh my god, my bad. That was a lot of damage. Okay, not too bad. Could have flashed and survived the guess, my bad. Oh, man. That is so stupid. Literally, my pathing was, like, so griefed as well by having to walk around this turret instead of just walking in a straight line. Shouldn't have even been that so much risk there. <laughs> I've had a real bad luck with minions this game, haven't I? Oh, she's shoving, isn't she? No, okay, she's not. Not bad. I'm so, I'm so traumatized from mage supports, man. And Karma's half mage at the very least. I don't like her kind. Gotta be a little bit cautious. One, Kaisa W is all it takes for her to force a favorable all in. I only win by not fighting her, just by trading with her. The moment I get into a position where she can just all in me, I've screwed up. Nice one. Why is Karma over there? Ha what? I swear that hit him. If she were to ult onto me here, I would need to follow it up with an immediate ult of my own to make sure I can get that shield off. Nice one, guys. 
somebody's TPing there. It's gonna be Vagar, the only person on the team that actually has TP. Okay, good, good. Follow up her snare with my snare. Careful, Karma, do not risk giving him a kill. Nice one. Oh man, I've had like no lethal tempo up time this game, by the way. So far, Fleet would have been better. I assume that would have been um, parking it more in lane, but no, the, I, I think they've actually also been playing the lane a lot better than I expected them to, to be fair. They've barely been uh, taking any poke, especially early on. Uh, that's bad. I'll have to leave here, I think. That is what it is. Um, Super close to Infinity Edge. Also, why does the cow always have time cancelled? But anyway, at least the lethal tempo should be more and more useful as the game goes on. In team fights, it'll actually be really good. Nice one. Especially the Tarek, I expected to just play more stupidly. Oh man. Did we at least get the Drake? We did. Alright, Tom Kench can farm. Huge, I'm gonna pop ghost. Oh man. Okay, nice. Finally, a uh, good lethal tempo fight. Yeah, their comp is a lot of frontline. That's why I'm confident that this will pay off in the end. Even if we didn't get to use much lethal tempo in lane, it's also not like we got screwed over by not having fleet, right? We're still fairly comfortable here. Even if I was wrong about being able to bully them in lane, at the very least I was right that their engage is just so bad. In a lane where they do actually need engage. So we've been just chilling in a lane where we massively outscale. Not just chilling, but even just straight up winning most of the time. Also gonna maybe... I'm gonna try Runan's third item here, actually. Runan's before the fire cannon, just to show you guys what that's like. I would say it's overall not amazing right now compared to fire cannon third. Mostly just because Farken and Third synergizes so well with Stormraiser or Static Shiv, either of which you should be building. But Runan's itself is actually pretty decent, even if it's not got the same synergy with Stormraiser that Farken and has. No, Senna just left. Got my brother. Sorry, I'm used to flaming my support and my support being Senna when there's a Senna in the lane. Hmm. Did some damage. That's a fucking enemy Vagar. God damn it, my bad. I'm dead now, I won't bother flashing. I, I could have flashed. Didn't expect 4v3, I guess that was. The Karma die as well? No, she just left the lane, as we established. And spent ages sitting in base doing nothing. That's why it seemed like she was so late. Oh well, my bad. I could have flashed. I could have lived there for sure. On top of maybe other small mistakes, I think. It was a bit awkward, though, when Salah showed up. Because this fight was... um. A numbers disadvantage from the very start. So Silas uh, matching the Karthus gank just meant that we were still 2v3, which was still winnable, is the sad thing. But then Vagar joining to make it 2v4. Just too bad. Oh, 
Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Oh, there's a fight. Sorry, I should join this. Got her. We could do the Baron for sure. There's only one person alive at Starius. He's not surely going to be able to play this all up. No way. Gonna have Renan's as soon as I base as well. Should be able to test that out. Nice. Pick up my two missed, and I'm out of here. It's somewhat awkward to be picking up Runan as a wave clear item on a champion who doesn't actually really care too much about wave clear in the mid game, at least. But it is just super nice for being able to collect like multiple mist at once. And because of Senna's ridiculously large auto attack range, just applies it from a super large distance. And if I do need to push waves for whatever reason, it is so effective in that regard, even if you already have static shift. I'm gonna leave these to Zoe if she's around. She's just sitting at the back doing nothing for some reason. Oh, the enemies aren't Drake. Oh, pop a ghost. Ah, oh, goddammit. I'm just demolishing them, bro. Somebody just flashed in here, right? Yep, got you. I meant I could only chase one at a time, though. Maybe I still get Tarek? Yeah, for sure. I know I could be doing the Drake. I know. But I'm greedy. What can I say? He stands a decent chance. He is a really strong 1v1 champion, Tarek. <laughs> That's why we have to walk away. I mean, anything about Senna as well is that I, if I pick up a Mist, that technically is an auto attack, so that actually also applies to Runan's bolts, which is super nice for picking up Mist in team fights. Anyway, GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Senna to Diamond. This game playing Senna Brand into Misfortune Sona. We're going to be running... Oh, uh, damn. I thought that was going to be two tanks in the enemy team, but now I notice Smallfight is probably going AP. Mm, that's awkward. Either way, uh, I think I'll test out on-hit son of this game, since we are facing at least a Mundo who can get very tanky. Would have been more ideal if they actually had two tanks as I was expecting, but oh well. I've been wanting to actually test Bork Senna for ages, because it's something that has a decent one right on support, and it should in theory counter tanks fairly effectively. And tanks is something that Senna naturally- oh my god, main block- struggles against, so we'll see if it removes that weakness of hers. Or if it does at least something to ameliorate it, however you... I'm pretty sure that's not the pronunciation of that word, but you get what I mean. Oh my god, I missed every last hit, but it's all giving me missed, so... Can't complain. Oh my god, even the ones I do last hit can be missed. I'm so blessed. I'm trying to... Delay that Q until I actually get hit by Misfortune, so my heal actually does something and I end up with more HP. Anyway, this is a really good bot for us, I want to say. Unless somehow the uh, Misfortune training turns out to be a lot stronger than I'm giving it credit for. Then it's exactly that kind of lane where they just don't have too much damage for trading. Or all in power for that matter. And I just get to stack up my mist for free. Let's hope at least. But Lethal Temple, definitely not going to provide too much value in the early game. For sure, for stacking Mist, Lethal to work would have been better. This Lethal Temple is just for mid to late game. Mainly late game. Well, I'm re really proud of the one. If anything, I guess it's more of a mid game thing. Full build, hopefully I would expect to kill all of their tanks. Even without Lethal Temple. It's for that awkward transition period where I'm not dealing damage to tanks. That's where it truly shines the least, in my opinion.
Nice one. One nice thing about the Bork, which I think should make it... I've never tried it before, right? On ADC or support. But I imagine one of the things that makes it super nice on Senna and a little bit underrated is just the fact that you can do auto Q auto to rock it really fast. And of course, because, you, because of your Q slow, you can get that third auto super easily as well. Oh, and because we're rushing Bork, I've done Alacrity instead of Bloodline, since we're going to be rushing Lifesteal anyway. I can probably base for that now. Ooh, I missed out on replating, though. I don't have to be so afraid of their bot lane that I have to be afraid of giving... Afraid of uh, not getting the plating. Hmm. I might be being greedy not popping Ghost here, but... Looks to be paying off, I think. Nice. I'm guessing Sona had a ward in that brush. I reckon I can probably still get away with basing here anyway, just because Misfortune is taking forever to shove that wave. Partially, obviously, because um, they spent so long actually chasing me down there instead of actually pushing the wave. But either way, the outcome is, you know, the same. Regardless of how we ended up in this scenario, where they would have to shove this wave in, and it's a wave, so it would take forever. However, uh, unless they're actually afraid of a Nocturne gank, there's no point in them not crashing this. Maybe they just are afraid of the Nocturne gank, though. I don't know what their information is. But you see, the Misfortune just missed out on this entire cannon wave. Whereas I'm going to arrive to pretty much an entire cannon wave. So, I actually ended up benefiting from this more than Misfortune did. That was a good freeze, though. Misclick. Oh my god. Alright, I've not got queue up, so I don't want to actively go for a trade here. We want to disengage until my trading tools are back up. In this case, my queue. It's pretty much up, so now I can walk forwards. My cooldown refund off of an auto attack would already make it ready at that point anyway. She slowed. Easy time to learn my W, which... No, Brand! Okay, since Senna's lower, we'll go on Senna. I'm not afraid of losing this fight anyway, so I don't have to care about like the efficiency of going for the support instead of the ADC. Yeah, that absolutely should have been a kill on Misfortune. Sad. Oh well. Because she was rooted there, or was about to be rooted there, Brand decided an absolutely free combo on her. Guaranteed follow-up CC, guaranteed burst. Huge mistake from him to not notice that. Especially with her being way more overextended than Senna as well. Oh well. Do note, by the way, that this on hit build that I'm going to be running this game is purely for tanks. I would not run it for any other reason. But against tanks, it might prove to be more valuable than the other build we've been running, which clearly is good enough to get me a 100% win rate. Even at episode 3 of Senna to Diamond, right? I've been thinking Senna ADC is underrated for a long time, and I hope this at least um, gives you some confidence that I might be right about that. Ooh. Damn, my bad. Can we get her? Okay, at least I got my mist there. <laughs> Bit an ideal, but well. Where did he show up from? I guess he just flanked us because we didn't place vision. My bad. Yep, I just didn't notice because I was busy with a trade. Um, there we go. There's maybe a world where I could have killed both of them. I'm not entirely sure. I did manage to hit both of them with my ult, didn't I? 
So what I was... Oh, no, no. Okay, okay. Misfortune flashed my ult. Okay, so the reason I was thinking maybe I messed up somewhere was because I was sure that if I hit both of them with my ult, that both of them should have been killable. But only now in the replay do I notice I actually Misfortune flashed my ult, so that is that did pretty much just entirely remove my kill potential on her. But at least we forced a Misfortune flash for that. That's not too bad. Can be satisfied with that. Could do with uh, freezing this. I'm going to thin out the wave, starting with the melees. Well, the shorter ranged ones. Anything that is more at risk of coming under turret. Could do with thinning it out a little bit more as well. It's way bigger than it needs to be right now. It is decent. Where the hell is Misfortune, by the way? She should really be in lane. There she is. Don't currently have Q, so I don't want to go out of my way to force a trade here. Let's back up now. Oof. Nice try, nice try. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure in one of the previous games we had like, what, six? I think it was like 60 missed at like 24 minutes. Now I'm like halfway there at only 10 minutes. That's the difference between having a lane where you can trade a lot and a lane where you can't trade a lot. It's actually such a bizarre playstyle for Senna. Like, you know, compared to other ADCs in the game. Oh, that's an AP mob fight. Fuck me. My bad. Dude, I was not uh, concentrated there at all. Whoa, what is that? Okay, all good, all good. I don't know why I went into melee range there. I was trying to auto attack. Kha'Zix's dead, yes. Probably should have checked that first before walking into the bush he would have been in, but... It's like we're fine to push here. Don't have much wave clear though. The great thing about this build as well is that it's gonna make Runan's third item just so effective. Because we absolutely want to do Runan's with this build, not even Fire Cannon. Runan synergizes so well with on hit. Oh well, I am Senna, of course, so I actually, I need to like, uh, when I'm playing Senna, I need to forget about that whole mindset I have of, uh, he didn't have to take those minions, because I actually don't care if he takes minions, because I'm playing Senna. I will gladly take the extra mist. I don't even care. The only thing I would be salty about is if my support took every single CS, because he'd get the support item penalty. But if he actually takes like, I don't know, like three CS a wave, I would, I would dare say that is optimal. I'm not going to encourage my supports to take 3 CS a wave, because that's just over overcomplicating things, but... That is decent for sure. It's not something I would have to cry about, for sure. That's why I actually theorize Senna has to be, like, the most... Tilt proof ADC to be playing in Loilo. Because at least, like, so many of the complaints that I hear about Loilo, as always, uh, as these fucking brands, Zereths, Morganas, Zyra's taking all my farm, and honestly, playing in Loilo, that is literally my exact number one complaint as well. Ooh. Ooh, so close. Okay. Yeah, but when you play Senna, it just doesn't apply anymore. You're like, oh, nice, yeah, take more of my CS, please. Please, even take this cannon. Come on, I'm begging you. I want more mist, please. They're, like, doing you a favor at that point. Well, not always, because a big issue is when they farm when you're not in lane. You can't get mist if you're not in lane. I should have prioritized that mist, my bad. Almost have 40 already. But at least when you're in lane and they're taking farm. Which is more of an iron thing, I guess, than Loilo in general. Like, well, iron bronze. At least for that particular scenario. You can just not be tilted about that when you're playing Senna. Oh my god, wait. I'm fine. 
Okay, I'm gonna auto attack for life steal. Life stealing 29 for auto, not bad. Ooh, this small five really wants me, by the way. Just standing way far back so he can't like flash ult me or something. Yeah, my sustain is actually crazy with this pork crush, by the way. God damn. I'm not going to rule out that it might be underrated even not against tanks, but that's not something I'm as sure about as just her being really good with Stormers or Slash, Static Shiv. Oh, hello. Fuck me. Okay, nice. Oh, I was so sure I was going to get Sona ulted there. Without the Sona ult. Oh, there it is. Without the Sona ult, there was definitely no chance they could kill me, so... I was surprised they didn't use Sun Ult if it was up. Or chose to go for that if it was just barely down still. Because I don't know why she flashed there. <laughs> why would Sona flash onto me if not to ult me? So confusing. Nice one, guys. Just backing off as soon as I do the auto. <gasps> this Malphite is ult, by the way. He didn't use it in the previous fight. Oh my god, but I live for now? I think I'm actually going to live, period. Uh, no, I'm not. I do a lot of damage before I die, at least, though. Sheesh, man. He literally just... This is like the same fight as when Malphite died before, bro. Pretty much. He revived and rejoined the fight. Not even TP. Just walked up here and <laughs> killed us. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm gonna prioritize Ginsu's here over Berserkers. Over any boots, really. But I think Berserker should be fine. Oh, and this is absolutely perfect. The Mundo is getting fed. I'm so excited. You know why? Because that means this... Hopefully going to be a proper test for this build and how it how effective it is against tanks who are actually fed. Who are actually, like, you know, tanky. Which he should be if he's getting fed. Has really good farm as well, like, nearly 10 CS per minute. He's wasted his jump. He's made a grave mistake. Ah, I missed. Oh, well. Hmm, maybe I go mid here. Just gotta be careful I don't die to Malphite ult. Uh, I do need help here. Oh, hello. Cool. That was unexpected. He really wanted that turret. You can have all the CS, baby. We know he's got no stealth. If he goes for it, I can ult, but I don't think it, my ult would have killed by itself. Literally just getting the CS low for Talon. Okay, I just need, like, technically one more wave for my Ginsu's, but that doesn't make me want to, like, farm an entire wave, because I'm, I'm also in no hurry to do it. So, in the long run, I don't really need that gold. Compared to, you know, just leaving gold for my allies while getting more mist in exchange. If I desperately needed the power spike right now, I would maybe farm a wave. But otherwise, I'm chill to just keep waiting. Although, I can go bot, though. And, well, if Falcon wants to farm it, I can also just soak it, soak it up. I don't care. Junglers, mid laners, top laners. Doesn't matter who's farming, just as long as they get value out of the farm. Did I? Yeah, I was going to say, I thought I saw somebody there. Huh. Actually could be in trouble here. Except he already missed a lot. Oh my god, but he's still in trouble. Holy shit, that was a close one. Okay, how much damage did my Bork do there? Well, I can't really see the total amount, sadly, but I can see how much it's done total. Only 18.25? It'll scale to be much better than that. I think I can get away with shoving another wave here, right? Would be nice to have some confirmation that Kha'Zix is topside, but... I think even if he is side, I'm not sure he can kill me. At worst, might burn my side. Really? Oh well. Might burn my summoners, I was gonna say. Hmm. I'm 
not going to bother with Lord Dominix. I want to see how we do without Lord Dominix. I'm just prioritizing the Runans for AoE. And wave clear. I can let him have those. I don't care. Really? Kha'Zix is on the way. Shit. Oh, fuck me. Ah, that blows. I didn't expect the Kha'Zix W. The evolved one. My bad. Huh. I was trying to run to my teammates, but they definitely were not trying to run to me. <laughs> Nocturne was actively walking away from me. Brand was walking towards me, but he also wasn't in a much better spot than me at that point. Fuck me. I should have just ghosted immediately. God, that slow so strong. Would have been better if I had Swifties, but... I should pick those up. I mean, Berserkers are definitely better with on-hit center than they are with the other center play styles, that is for sure. You know what, let's just do Swifties. I want to see how Bork is when I'm not completely fully maximizing my damage. Is it going to be enough to cope with the Mundo or not? Nice one. Wow, oh, he didn't kill those. Okay. 8 HP. We see three top sides, so we know we're pretty much alone here. The only one unaccounted for is Misfortune, who is not really a threat unless she, like, managed to burst me down from a brush here. Something like that. Drake is spawning in 43 seconds. Do we get a shutdown from window there? I don't think so. Oh, I'm fight. Somebody we definitely want to avoid. Yeah, so in one of those previous games, I think it was like 60 missed at 24 minutes. Now we're 75 missed at 22 minutes. On a much better pace this time around. Thanks to the matchup on bot lane. And of course, Mundo with his generous donations. I need to sprint out of here as fast as I can, because this Nocturne will protect me if Kha'Zix comes for me. Or maybe he will. Is there any Penulting? I don't think so, no. Hmm. Okay, we probably just have to give this up then. The only thing I really won't go for is just to finish at least this rune ends. And then, ugh, dude, with how much armor this guy's building, we definitely need Lord Dominix. Ideally, it would have been the third item, but again, experimenting. Ooh. AP Malphite is seriously so annoying for Senna, though. They're not on Baron, are they? No. Thirty CS ahead of Misfortune while deliberately giving form to my solo laners. By the way, just behind a guy who isn't even trying to farm. At least not some of the time, anyway. Which should already be advantage enough.
I can't really gank bot right now. Not with Baron up. Can't have too many people bot side. I will just base for now. I could spend some gold even if I don't have the full runance. It's just doing a ton of magic damage right now, which is actually quite nice when you think about it. When the you know when you consider how much armor this Mundo has, at least that something is uh, armor doesn't protect against. Oh man. I just cannot get too close here. Now I can. Pop up ghost. Come on. Huge. Okay. Damn, that was closer than I expected it to be. Oh, my flash only just came up, I think, because I did try to flash during that fight. Should I get this red or... Wait, I can't actually CC him, I forgot. At least not snare him. Oh my god, that was a big hit. Jesus Christ, my bad. Hmm, I didn't expect him to rush into me. I wonder if he had a vision. He just got my red, why does he need another one? Jesus Christ, he's got 5000 HP. So that is regen. Alright, we're gonna prioritize Lost Whisper at all costs here. I'm telling you, this game would be an absolute nightmare if I didn't think the test on hit. Thank god the Malphite misled me into thinking that they had two tanks, because I definitely would not have expected Malphite, or sorry, uh, Mundo to get super fed against the Nurgot. I could not have predicted that when I started building my build. Go bot. Oh yeah, and I've got super good wave clear now. Watch. Okay, they're not nearly in position to do Baron seconds. So have another wave, which would get me lost. Whisper. I'm just hoping I get away with this, as in I don't, uh, you know, get ganked. Oh boy, so much for that. How did that not hit me? This is so many people, by the way. My team could absolutely be doing Baron. God damn. That was so unexpected. What the hell? They might still get it because of how absurdly long that chase was and how absurd how absurd an amount of people they actually dedicated to that. Grand also fucking melts Baron, by the way. So they're doing this pretty fast even without having an ADC or their midliner. Talon really should have headed over there, though. The awkward thing is, they might actually die to Mundo. Like, seriously, 1v3, they might lose. Especially if Brand doesn't kite properly. They need to focus on getting out. If only one dies, that's perfect. If zero die, that's even perfect there, but... It's not the only situation, scenario, we can be happy with. Oh, no. Okay, we kept two Baron buffs overall. That's super worth. Still. Ooh. Oh wow, they just melted that Nocturne. Got them. Did Malphite ult? I hope not. Or I hope he did, rather. I hope he doesn't have ult, is what I meant. Got him. <laughs> Jesus. Mundo just kept on pushing. Should I recall? I think I should. I think I can hopefully deal with them. I've just colored Dominix and Brand revived. Okay, Mundo's gone though. Maybe we can do Drake. I don't care too much that Brand is taking this farm. Alright, I'm gonna rush over to the Drake. Alzix isn't up for three more seconds. He won't be in time for the Drake, but maybe Malphite or something could have flash up. Shit. 
Sheesh. It's fucking Mundo. But he is dying, though. Slowly. Nice one. Everyone has targeted Mundo there. When I went for those. Missed. Oh, you're kidding me. I nearly had her. Okay. Get him, Talon. Get him. Get him, buddy. Oh, damn. Okay, we got the Drake, though, right? Huge, huge. And I think I'll do with Send, final item. Gonna be have, gonna be really nice to have some resistances. Wow, not even against the... Just the Malphite, apparently. Look at this fucking Mundo magic damage. What? Yeah, that'll be good. Nice one, Talon. We're going to be doing so much magic damage once I finish with Synth. Oh, and my Bork did like 4,000 damage in the fight, by the way. Everything that's happened, I just want it to matter. See, this is the kind of farming that my mage supports can do that doesn't benefit me at all because I'm not there to pick up the mist. The jungle is too risky to go for it to get my red buff. Well, the red buff. Can do our red though. I'll leave the golems for Nocturne. I don't need to farm that much. Plus, there should be a mid farm for me. This doesn't even necessarily do like so much more DPS onto squishies than the Infinity Edge Bolt does, but for tanks specifically is where it really shines. I was hoping the Renaz would go on that minion, but it was too far away. I'm getting really close to this What's end, though. Oh, they are... Jumping them hard. Ah, damn it. Oh, well. We might need the base for Mundo. At the very least, we can't really keep on pushing by ourselves here. They've got a numbers advantage, too. I could try and flank Mundo, but I'm scared I'll just walk into our base in 1v2 and then I'm flanking for nothing. I want to join it ASAP. How much HP does he have now? 6,000. Is he talking to Nocturne? I'd assume so. Okay, I've basically got what's send. We can try flanking Mundo here. At well, least ganking him. Ganking him. I cannot fight him by myself, I'm pretty sure. Not 100% sure, but pretty sure. Maybe I can uh, start the fight though if he's... Wow, I can cut him so effectively, actually. What the hell? Don't even know how. Psst. Oh, man. Okay, a bit lucky there, but I think I win. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I win. Woo! Quadra. Goddamn, let's go. Worked at about another 3,000 damage there. I think this build definitely took, uh, like, even longer to scale than I expected. Aside from the one item power spike, which is really nice for the sustain, but... Like, now that it's actually scaled, it is really paying off, because it is the only way I can actually deal with Mundo. No damage to this inhib though. On hit builds suck for taking objectives. So greedy for that miss, man. Alright, pays off, I guess. Uh, I could really do with uh, basing fast though for contesting this Drake. Dude, my script. What did it look like I was scripting there?
As far as I can tell, it was just auto attacking with good positioning. That was the sooner sooner ult by accident, maybe. I see myself in them. In the eyes of the people I saved, and the darkness reflected there. Oh, yeah, 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 we should do burn. Screw the Drake. They're just giving a Baron twice in one game. Weird. It's so weird having this much attack speed on Senna. Nice. The only thing that would make Renan so much cooler than it already is, is if it would pick up multiple mists at a time. I don't see why not. If picking up your mist is auto attacks and Renan's bolts are auto attacks. I could have stuck around for that mist actually. Almost doing as much magic damage as physical damage at this point. How much on hit is my passive doing? I believe that's also a thing. Only 75. Hmm. Because I don't have much AD. <clears throat> Could maybe sell my boots for Phantom Dancer at this point. This guy wants to flash ult me. At the very least, ult me. Probably flash ult me. I shouldn't be getting this close if I'm suspecting he has flash. <laughs> I have flash up though, so if he does ult me, so long as I react in time, I shouldn't die. Okay, I say we push a mid lane wave and then go, I guess, bot or top. Doesn't really matter too much. My team goes top, I go top. I don't need to be pinging words for gold, by the way. Oh, my W didn't land. Neither did anything to, uh, Brent did. Weird. What is going on? I can't join a fight here. Do I need to base here? Fucking hell, I might. Because I can't fight at all here. I don't have a front line. I'm, I only have a side line. Okay, my team is pushing. I think Mafia still has flash, by the, or ult, brother. Okay, uh. Fuck me, I'm dead. That sucks. Okay, hopefully my team ends off of that, though. Oh, barely got the heart attack. Yeah, we end. Alright, cool. GG. I think that build was worth it. I think it was the only reason I could deal with Mundo. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Senate Diamond. This game playing Senna Thresh into Ezreal Nautilus. Starting off with an invade here. Hmm, I'd say we just camp their jungle here. There's no need to get fancy. What is this word, by the way? Here I can recall and go top. This should stay with us for a little bit longer. Surely someone is gonna walk through here at some point, right? Ooh, but Keen could actually be on Raptors. Might be why we've missed him so far. Hmm. Okay, I guess we're just gonna start... But the regular jungle, um, what's the, what's the word? Jungle route. I think it probably would have been better to just get Kane's red buff though. Although a little bit risky because there is a world where if he is on Raptors, he gets the Raptors, gets the level two. He's through here, sees the red buff low, smites it, and then he has two camps on Mamafa at zero. So at least this way is the safe way where we uh, definitely 100% avoid that worst case scenario. The yeah, absolute disaster. And they're going to be running lethal tempo this game because of how many melees they've got on their comp, especially also on the ball in as well. So I don't 100% need 
lead this game either. And it's going to be really good for lane for killing Nautilus before I've actually got much damage. Nice, really good trade there. We got two missed. Don't even care about their HP bars. I got two missed, guys. I'm so excited. Oh, that right, that does no damage level one, my bad. We follow that up with the W. It's gonna be Nautilus taking a lot of damage here. Need to not get hooked on the turret though. Okay, nice. Maybe I should have extended that, actually. I just parked my lethal tempo. Nice try. Just gonna level Q because I don't have much mana to play around with here. We definitely should place a ward. I never actually caught the... Okay, we have a... Uh... We actually do have confirmation that Kane did his red buff, right? Because we see the red buff is gone. Unless Malphite took that, did he? I don't think so. I'm just not sure why we only see Kane having 4 CS, though. That's a bit confusing if we saw him take it. Maybe he took it in the brush, actually. That might explain it. So he did probably do Raptors into red buff. Must have... Which means if it's four minutes now, he would have full clear towards the top side. His full clear would be done though, so he could be bot side at any moment, really. You gotta be cautious. Ideally, I'd have been tracking him the whole time, but I only have so much concentration compared to the regular human. Oof, just believe didn't hit Ezreal. Also, what the hell, Thresh? That was so unnecessary. Oh, I'm getting ganked. I didn't notice my butt. Well, that sucks. We 100% didn't... Oh, he DC'd. Oh, that really sucks then. Oh, yeah, because he didn't even use Ignite. Oh, that is so unfortunate, man. Damn. That's... Really annoying. Can't even be annoyed at him because I thought that was just him being really stupid, but it makes absolute sense that he just DC'd. Tragic timing. If he had ignited, I would have believed that he actually did do that on purpose. And he's just saying that he DC'd to make up for his mistake, but no, he didn't ignite, which means fairly likely he actually did DC. He was actually going for the kill, he definitely would have ignited. Oh well. On the bright side, I think we're still getting a lot of miss from this matchup, right? It's not as much as we had in that I can't remember which game, but like Enchanter versus Enchanter matchup, where we were just promo traded. But it's a decent amount. Those are like the absolute best case scenarios. You can expect for that to happen every game. Nice prediction attack. What? How does that hit me? Excuse me? That didn't make any sense. <laughs> That's a good Ezreal. 
Wow, even sniping through the minions, that still counts towards my lethal temple, that's crazy. Also trying to bait Nautilus here, if I can. Oh, way off, my bad. Plating would be really nice, let's hope it goes down. Nice, solo plating too, love it. I would have actually based there if not for the fact that I wanted to get that plating. It was a decent time to base. Uh, could do with some placing, placing some vision. At the moment though, I could actually die if I go ward. Just pushing into us anyway, we'll be fine. Nautilus level 6, I really need to avoid getting into fight at the moment until at least we're level 6 as well. Both of them level 6 in fact. Azrael should already be using his ultimate just to harass me from out of vision. Oh. Wait, <laughs> that actually could have been really risky. I had very limited minions there for a minion cover. Pretty sure they're still here. Yep. Okay. Would have been awkward for us if they actually based there, because I can't crash this in time. I'd have to slow push one wave and crash the next one, and then on the second wave there's a chance we could get ganked, so... The fact that they're choosing to stay here, so I'm not actually pressured to shove faster than I actually can shove... ...is really nice. That's the kind of thing I think people don't think about is... How complicated is the situation are you putting the enemy bot lane in, if you just choose to recall? They never think about that. Only in high loaded people think about that. Jesus, he's so tanky. Thank god we went lethal tempo. Got him. Nice one. Oh, we have a moff- I, I know we had a moff I jungle, but for some reason I only just- It only just hit me. Oh, hello. I'm very dead here, aren't I? Unless, oh my god, no way. Holy shit, that is so lucky. Thank you, Thrush. I cannot do that, Drake. Alright, um... I think I can do Static Ship here, right? Yeah, there's no particular reason why I need... Uh, Storm Razor in this matchup, I don't think. Might be a little bit nice for the Alawi sometimes. But I don't think it's too important. Like, generally, Alawi should not be getting into my range anyway. Wait, what? How does that not go off on him? Alright, we're fine. Nice. Ow. Oh, no, actually. Barely missed, thank god. But that is exactly what Ezreal should be doing, though. Just casting his ult from out of vision for harass like that. Just need Thresh to tank hooks for me and we're fine. No! Oh well. You see how I'm like pothing very intentionally to try and like keep Thresh in range of the hooks? That's how Thresh should be playing as well. If you're playing support then you know you 100% win a fight so long as your ADC doesn't get hooked. Fucking block the hook then. Even if there's like a, I don't know, 30% chance you die, super worth it just for a 0% chance your ADC dies and 100% chance to win the fight overall. Don't think about the, ooh, but the best case scenario is if neither of us get hooked and then 0% chance either of us die. Much better you're aiming for 0% chance of your ADC getting hooked than, you know, 50% chance either one of you gets hooked. Is 
not necessarily the most amazing base timing, but, you know, having just done the Drake, it is what it is. I do want to spend my gold here. I don't want to keep delaying that just to try and get a much better base. Or just a better base that's not really going to change much throughout the game overall. Like, I don't think the game depends win or loss depending on whether I get this wave or not, for example. But I can easily get a game-winning lead from spending my gold faster. With how much gold I had to spend, especially. Oof. You don't have to base. If you have a thousand gold, you should have based before, man. Nautilus has Hex Flash, by the way. Something worth noting. No way. I have to immediately ult just to make sure I'm getting a shield. I'm too tanky to burst down there. Just in case they both decided to go in on me there. Close one. Things are down in seven seconds. Can't really get. Well, can I? I can get it. Yeah. Did I get my pass out there? I hope so. What? What the hell? She TP'd. Jesus, that was surprising though, especially on that HP. What the fuck? Okay, I'm out of here just in case we get ganked by a cane as well. I'm not too afraid of Ezreal, even if Nautilus shows up. How does how did neither of us hit him there? What the, I swear we covered like every possible angle there. Fuck me. Wait, ah, oh, can't take the lantern. Ah, oh, that's sad. Okay, they die at least. How big was my shot down? Pretty big. It goes to Nautilus though. That is huge. I definitely didn't need to be playing passive there, though, I think. That's slightly baited by Nautilus just standing on the hook, which I still firmly believe to this day should not be an interaction that exists. I don't think you should be able to deny a champion's ability by standing on a place. Standing on the right pixel. Man, this will always push far. Oh man, don't drag her to me. Okay. That's fine. Okay, allow me no flash. Do we maybe just rotate mid here? Ooh. Got her. Sorry, Fizz, I didn't know you were about to kill her. So Static Shift doesn't get used up by Q, but as far as I know, Farkanen does. Weird. <laughs> nice. Okay, I can base for Infinity Edge at this point. What if I just go Runans again? The Farcon would be super nice against Syndra though, and Ezreal. 
Yeah, we'll do fire cannon, then maybe renounce if we don't need to maximize damage. I'm gonna rotate over with my E as fast as I can. Damn it, I missed. Okay, nice one, guys. Oh, Kane around somewhere. Never mind. Alright, cool. 660 range. I just noticed my attack move was preventing me from going mid. Whoops. Just gonna have this farm. I'm just gonna auto attack the wave. Oh. Fuck me. Tried to go at an angle as much as I could, but stuck to this wall, it was hard. Oh, that really sucks, man. The moment I walked forwards, I was screwed against Syndra. I could have I could have only reacted like only like 0.2 seconds faster or something. That's all it took for Syndra to get into QE range. How sad. Of course, it doesn't help that I actually locked myself down with my Q animation briefly, which I think is what really did it, but Again, that, that that would have preventing that would have taken like 0.2 second reaction time. It will um, get that and this. Could I maybe ult here? Do I need to ult here? I want to do it just to kill Steel Kane, obviously. Oh, I was just TP'd. Wait, really? Nice, I baited him. Got a missed out of that. Slightly taking a risk here. Ugh. Of course that cancels. I need to pop Ghost here and start juking around in case Nautilus goes for like a flash Q. My god, they really want me. Holy shit. Jesus, how far across the map are they going to chase me, man? Oh, there's an lobby behind me. My bad, I didn't expect that. Jesus, dude. What is this? They chased me from fucking Baron to my blue buff, man. What? Where's my team during all that, by the way? Because I definitely expected help by then. It's the only reason why I kept it going. They were just chilling on Baron. Hmm. Guess there's not much they could have done. I don't think they have the damage to rush Baron, which is the only thing they realistically could have done there. Aside from that, the only thing left was for Fira to push, which she did, so I guess that's, yeah, it's okay. Not too bad. God, this Muffet is tanky. Nice. You should be that, I hope. Nice. Did he not have or what? It's like he wasn't even trying to live. Drake is up in 50. I think I'll just space for Zeal in the meantime. 
We got 400 movement. Sorry, 400 movement speed. Without zeal, how much do I get with zeal? It's always awkward that you gotta wait for the home guards to run out to find out. 419, 19 movement speed. It's actually such a crazy good part, underrated part of zeal. I wouldn't do shit like Runans before Lord Dominix after Farkanen, if not for the fact that it gives so much movement speed. one. Nice. Can I kill him with that? Ooh, he just barely was able to turn the corner. Sucks that I have to get out of turret range first. Oh my god, I've taken so much turret damage still. <laughs> Need to heal. Oh, come on, I wanted to get that one too. Okay, I'll settle for this mist. Oh, hello, Elawi. Shit, I didn't notice this. Okay, inhib for inhib, I guess. What the hell? She just... Wait. Okay, I'm confused. Whatever. Oh, Drake is up. Two missed, though. Now I got 95% crit chance. When I complete Farcon, I'll have 100%. Oh my god, all my team are so fed, by the way. This game is actually so easy. We're playing the most supportive ADC with a full fed team. Oh my god. Gotta focus Slowy. Oh, come on, I didn't slow him because of that. Come on. There we go. That should have been a quadra. That should have been a penta. Oh, well. I can settle for a victory, I guess. No, oh, I say Inhib is 100% better than Baron here. If it were just one inhib, then maybe not, but the fact that it's two inhibs means that this next Baron is almost guaranteed. Although, actually, to be fair, they also have an inhib, so it kind of counteracts, I guess. And another zeal, baby. Is it optimizing my damage? Nope. Does it fucking matter when my team is full of carries who are all fed? Nope. 441 movement speed now. And I'm also getting 5.25% lifesteal now from my passive. So much survivability. Something fate with that, but <laughs> oh, I got hit. She flashes on me that I'm dead. She did not flash on me. She still really wants me though. Don't even need to ult. That should be GG. Of course, I'll always splitting. Fucking split pushers, man. Degenerates the lot of them.
GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Senna the Diamond. This game playing Senna, uh, sorry, Senna Swain into Zyavex. Gonna be running the fleet this game, not really expecting to get much use out of lethal tempo in lane, were I to run that. Not really sure how I'm expected to do in lane against Vex support, not something I've seen very commonly. Pretty solid start though, nice one Swain, let's just not uh, get too greedy here. Mm, overall not worth it, my bad. Wasn't thinking about the Vex fear. Ooh, my bad. I can't really walk up and follow up there, I'm just too low at the moment. But we'll, uh, as we keep getting more cues, we'll just have enough HP to trade thanks to that. Nice one. Oof, that was a close one. I managed to get it right around the mini wave though, as I hoped. But I wasn't 100% sure it would work. Come on, how are we not level 3 yet? Oh, Zai's level 3 first because she got solo XP. That makes sense. Vex is still only level 2 somehow. Oh, she just... I aimed it right, she just was way too far away at that point. That was really solid though. We just need to be... Oh no, okay, Warwick is actually their top laner. Not the jungler, so we're not worried about being ganked by him. Careful Swain though, holy crap, his HP. Oh, come on. Okay, that's not too bad. I think I win this. Yeah. So my thought process there was... I felt like Swain put himself in such a bad spot that... Ooh. My best shot there was probably just going to be to try and um, get Senna dead as soon as possible without giving her a chance to go on Swain. Damn, that sucks though. I missed out on a big wave for this. That was super bad. Swain was way out of position. I would have, I w even though I ended up getting a double kill, I think I would have overall would have preferred to just uh, continue playing like safe, not die to the enemy jungler and maybe still find a play like later on where we get one kill or two while not being like so massively overextended and having such a messy fight which I only felt forced to take because of my support getting caught overall we're ahead of the enemy bot lane though but we could have kept on like freezing could have kept on zoning them from CS could have found a two for zero trade or one for zero trade I don't think this is the best thing we could have hoped for Okay, Vex is currently mid. Even if she uses Z there, we so long as um she can't auto attack the minion, she can't actually really set up a root, so we're not afraid of her there. I'll probably do Stormizer in this matchup. Not not even just the matchup, but in this game in general. But ooh, I need to be really careful here. I didn't actually check that they didn't have a fear there. I was just really reckless. Alright, I've lost so much HP from this. I should look to show this in a base, I think. That was actually a really good trade though. Holy shit. This could actually be a kill. Never mind then. 
Yep, that's a kill. Cool. Is it worth taking a throw shot for the mist? Of oh, fucking course it is. Even if it wasn't, I'd still do it. Never mind, I guess we just stay. I should place a ward though. Soon. Hmm. Maybe right now. Oh, it's a mist. Okay, I'm just gonna pay close attention. Diana's going topside. Alright, we don't have to place a ward. We know exactly where Diana is. Ooh, now that could be very good. I'm gonna get feared, sadly. Oh, that's so close. Dude, that was... That might have been 1 HP. She had less than 5 for sure. Oh, my bad. Maybe I could have healed him. Not too bad. Okay, this mist is not worth going for. I need to back off. Even if I'm confident that Dana is still topside, which she probably is. I don't know the exact timing of Zyga getting back into lane. I don't want to step forwards and then find she's already here and then she goes on to me and kills me. She might have um, Cosmic Insight, for example, in her inspiration. Actually, I should get this. Yeah, I think Stormwizard will be pretty good this game for both spacing the Zion most effectively as possible. And then also just spacing the, well, kiting the Warwick and the Dana. Particularly the Warwick. It's going to be super important to put some distance away from him ASAP whenever he manages to get close onto me. Can be useful for dodging Syndra's abilities as well. Oh man, I've really fucked up this farm. <laughs> I'm not getting a single crit. Ooh. Oh, damn. Even if I ulted, I don't think there was anything to do there. I, think, I don't think I even had ult by the, like, uh, when Swain died anyway. Okay, I can freeze off of this. This was a mistake from Vex. If something wasn't trying to kill me, I don't think it was a freeze before, but it is now. I don't even have to do anything. It's just is naturally a freeze so long as I don't hit the wave. Thought I was going to have to tank it, but not even that. I should look to base for my Storm Reserve soon, though. I don't want to stay here too long. I'll probably slow push this wave, crash the next one. How much gold would I need though for... Hmm, I, so I, I, ideally I would base with a thousand gold I think so I can get Swifties as well as my Storm Razor. Maybe if I get every single asset that works. Might have to solve refillable for it but yeah I think it's doable. Cool. Only just got this goddamn refillable but oh well. We'll use you to get into the lane again ASAP. We missed two CS for the space. So basically nothing. Absolutely worth it for getting a extra power spike there. Alright, so Zaya might want to look the base here to try and match the base that I just had and match my atoms. So we want to start shoving ASAP. And there's a decent chance she's going to cancel her base because of this. That's fine. So long as we're forcing her to cancel her base. And if she does base, then she's going to miss farm. Either way, it's win-win for us. Yep, she canceled her base. She probably wanted to base, though. I can... At least it would be the smart choice. Ooh. Wait, she still has the shield. God damn it. My bad. Might have done some there's desire there at least. Wow. Okay, not bad. Definitely didn't play it perfectly, though. An enemy has been if you only look at 
bro. Hang on, I can kill her. There we go. Okay, we can leave the wave here. Pu pushing this is a slight risk. I don't... So I can't actually think off the top of my head who could kill us. I guess maybe Syndra. It is such a low chance that Syndra would even show up here and gank us in this situation, but... It's why it's like why worth the risk? Like why would it? Why would I even risk it? You know, because if I just leave the wave, it's also like directly 100% favorable towards us, 100% guaranteed. Because it's on their side of the map, we know Zai is missing out on more farm there than we do. So why would we risk um, shoving in that wave? What is the point? Does it get me the off sword? No. Did it give me the can? Would it have got me the cannon? Sure, but so does this. Doesn't cost me anything to just leave that wave there, even if the risk of that actually backfiring is like maybe 10%. I need to take absolutely pointless risks. And when I say absolutely, I mean completely absolutely. For zero gain. Just completely neutral. Yeah, I don't win these extended trades as you can see. That's why I need Storm Razor. And more range. Both me and Zai have no ghost for now. She could be trying to cheese in a brush somewhere. I doubt it would be... Over here, though. Oh, there she is. Oh, wait. I thought she already used Ghost earlier. Okay, I missed a cannon there, sadly, but... Ooh. Wow, she's really fast. What the fuck? Anyway, I could go aggressive there because she had no... Wave anymore and I did. Cool. Why did I think she had no Ghost? God damn it. She, was, she felt so fast in the last chase. Oh, well. I'm safe here, right? The only person that could come for me is Diana. Ooh, honestly, when I think about it, because of how big my shotgun is and the fact that I don't have information on Diana, not even worth pushing here. Seems to have worked out, but okay. But I want the BF start, so this time it isn't completely pointless. So I'm gonna risk it. We see Diana now. Now I know that my mistake was never a mistake. Lovely. Love to be retroactively justified. Oh my god, I'm so ahead of Zai now. She's... Okay, two levels down. She was three levels down before that level up. So two level difference is huge. Also, wow, her farm is awful. I wonder if Vex is trolling her a little bit, because Vex has a lot of farm there. That might just be from the times that Zaya wasn't in lane, though. Wouldn't be surprised if Vex is trolling, though, considering how early she roamed, which is usually a tilt move from non-roaming supports. Or even from roaming supports. Is this all of their team? They're, that's three of them. Uh, it's just Syndra and Zaya missing. Honestly, I'm not going to take a risk here. Okay, at least until I see Syndra, which I now see her. Don't like walking their brushes when I assume Zai could be cheesing me again, but... For the mist? Absolutely, I'll risk handing over a 450 gold shutdown. Oh, there she is. What? God, that damage. So obnoxious. Yeah, she also has Storm Razor, hence her movement speed. Okay, nice one, Swain. Can I get the mist? Yes! Start healing him up. By the way, that is something I forget to do quite often, is just healing teammates. 
And I'm 25-0 while forgetting to heal teammates. Maybe it's just the key to playing Senna well, is just not being a support even when you have a supportive kit. Play only selfishly. Sad. You're kidding. What? Nah, that's a joke. What the hell, man? That is super tilting. My auto attack just cancelled. Hello. Fuck. No way. Holy shit. <gasps> There's a Warwick here. Because of course there is. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> that was gonna be insanely lucky, so I can't complain. Nice one, nice one. Okay, that's a pretty big shot down to Warwick, who's one of five. Honestly, best case scenario. Well, base when I got a zeal. What the hell, Briar? That was a weird move. The red buff is despawning in like 38 seconds. I should get that before I base. Oh, thank you, Swain. <laughs> Whatever, we've got a red buff of our own. Uh, nothing to do with Riven here. Maybe I could just push the turret, though. It's only a very slight risk, but it doesn't even seem like they're turning here. Oh, she is. Never mind, I need to get out of here. Can't path through there, or I walk through the center QE. So much for basing, then. Oh, I've got no mana now. But I... Okay, I've got enough for ult, which might be all I need. Come on, Swain. Does this work of ult? Hopefully not. If he does, I probably still win anyway, to be honest. Nice. Okay, cool. I don't need to show another wave here. I can just base. Although, well, with the wave being right here, I thought it would be <laughs> overextended than that. Also, trying to keep an eye on the map right now in case I happen to see Yasuo get into a fight with Syndra. So I can ult across the map. Alright. I got Zeal and Kerchase, which is really nice. Pretty solid base. Better than just the Zeal, for sure. That should be probably quite useful to use F-keys on, Sen on uh, sorry, Senna. If I could actually learn which key is which character. Okay, we're gonna ult here. Nice one. Don't get there in time to heal him, sadly. I think Diana still has ult, right? I don't think she used it on Swain. I might be wrong. Oof, so close. Nice one. Oh, where did she come from? Nice. Hmm, Elsa's a bit stuck there. I've nearly got a Q though. All right, you can you can walk through the turret now. Come on, do it, buddy. Okay, fine. Scar refuses to lose HP. Oh, I actually hit her. I was kind of hoping it would hit her, but I wasn't going out of my way to actually aim it. Not overly, anyway. I need to group. Kind of useless by myself. Quick trade on Diana there while she's rooted, and then I can leave. I'm not extending it. You also can have all this farm. Oop, didn't mean to take the cannon though. The one that gives me a guaranteed mist, so I got zero mist. Oh well. <sighs> nice. Nicely aimed. Just gonna Q Riven for the assist. Oh, what? 
Oh, Riven didn't, didn't even touch her. What the hell? Not bad. Riven, you stupid bitch. Oh, wow. I didn't think you would doubt of that. Well, I don't want to jinx it, but it looks like we're about to end Sun at the Diamond number three with still zero losses. That is kind of unreal. Oof, close one. needed to be absolutely sure I wouldn't get feared there. Okay, I need to also stay away from the Cinder QE. It's just too much of a threat. I'll check their red buff, and if that's down, then I'm just recalling. Their golems aren't even worth stealing here compared to just placing and spending my gold. I would say red buff is, though. Maybe if I had, like, 6,000 gold, it would be stupid to go for red buff. Otherwise, it's worth... Oh, and I also need to pick this up. There we go. I was also somewhat tempted, though, to actually stay just so I could get a zeal off my fire cannon. Because, <laughs> again, I just see no reason to not do it here. Well, maybe this game, if it goes long enough, we could test the Phantom Dancer instead of Runans. Because I think Phantom Dancer should also be fine. I've always gone for Runans just because it's more fun. Oh my god, that damage. Cannot quite finish her unless... Ooh, a first ultimate. <laughs> yeah, you run, bitch. I just want to say that was a really clean W from me, the fact that I aimed it so fast after flashing. I usually miss those. <laughs> anyway, yeah, of all the champions to end up at 26 and 0 on, Senna would not have been the one I would have expected. What do you think? Am I just insanely lucky? Or am I right about Senna being insanely underrated, potentially A to S tier? Let me know your thoughts. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.